I am so sports. You know me there, yeah? I'm coach to coach representing. I mean, I said this is right to represent in for Omar. You don't know, come get the sports over here from near and far. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Me say, I am sure sports, one thing me sure about When me say sure, that me, me not doubt Come get your sports, get it over here Come subscribe, repost and share I am sure sports, one thing me sure about When me say sure, that me, me not doubt Come get your sports, get it over here Come subscribe, repost and share yeah, yeah. If me not sure, that me, me not say it Know who score, that me, me not say it Never know the game play, that me, me not say it If me never seen a game, me not know who play For your sports news, better come over your son For your soccer news, then come over your son If you don't love sports, still come over your for the day, don't you want to love over your son? So, so, when it comes on to behavior concerning football, Jamaica is, is decent. I am sure that if we can get all of these things done, set in place by the end of April, it gives us enough time before the World Cup campaign. Not afraid of no Brazil or no Argentina with these crap of players. We are good enough. Remember to like, subscribe, 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 share. Listen, comment, let me know what your thoughts are. Tricknick Jerk Marinade gives your meats and vegetables authentic Jamaican jerk flavor. The spices are directly from Jamaica. Spices like jerk seasoning, allspice, scotch bonnet pepper, fresh scallions, thyme, ginger, and garlic. The key ingredients to a great jerk marinade. 0% sugar and low in sodium. You want to try it? Made up of 18 Jamaican herbs and spices. Add delicious, bold flavor to your next grilling experience. Flavoring sauce, a marinade, basting, condiment, or topping. Trick Nick Jerk Barbecue Sauce. Jamaica's reggae boys will battle old rivals Trinidad and Tobago's Soko Warriors in two friendly internationals this month. First battle is on Saturday, March 11 at the Catherine Hall Sports Complex in Montego Bay starting at 6 p.m. Then they meet again on Tuesday, March 14 at the office in Kingston starting at 7 p.m. Grandstand at $3,000, bleachers $1,000, VVIP in Mobay $4,000. Come witness head coach Hamer Holgrimson's first assignments on local soil with the Reggae Boys, sponsored by Jamaica's Reggae Boys will battle old rivals Trinidad and Tobago's Soko Warriors in two friendly internationals this month. First battle is on Saturday, March 11 at the Catherine Hall Sports Complex in Montego Bay starting at 6 p.m. Then they meet again on Tuesday, March 14 at the office in Kingston starting at 7 p.m. Grandstand at $3,000, bleachers $1,000, VVIP in Mobay $4,000. Come witness head coach Hamer Holgrimson's first assignments on local soil with the Reggae Boys, sponsored by. All right, greetings. Welcome to I Am Sure Sports. I am your host, Manning's Man. Hope you started out your day um, very well. It has been a good one for me. Lots of work. I mean, had a very long, 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 long night. If you know me, I work um, tirelessly through the night. You understand me? We have to put in additional work over what we do here. And then family is very important to me. I believe that um, you have to find a way to dedicate time to your family as well. So sometimes we have to be very balanced in our work. You understand me? We can't pursue wealth, um, you know, and leave our families behind. We can't pursue wealth and leave our health behind. We have to make sure that in all eras, that we are living a balanced life all right i am manning's man this is i am sure sports and today uh most of the show will be dedicated to discussing the trinidad versus uh jamaica uh friendlies that will take place as you saw in the ad um, this saturday and tuesday here in jamaica i'll be having uh, my friend andre with me and he's going to give us some perspective but before I even bring him on, I want to share a couple of thoughts with you, right? Um, uh, this is from Albert Einstein. He says, 
uh, I believe so. Yeah, let me make sure it's from Albert Einstein, and I don't want to give you, I want, I don't want to uh, attribute the quote to the wrong person. Yeah, all right. Uh, no, this is from Thomas Edison, right, the inventor of the light bulb. He says many of life failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. All right. Henry Ford, the founder of Ford Motor Company, said failure is the only opportunity to begin again, this time more intelligently. I share those, you know, I share those with you and I'll share this final one and then we go. This is from the author of the book called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. He is a psychotherapist. Um, Richard Carlson is his name. He says, ask yourself this question. Will this matter? A year from now. Will this matter a year from now? Right? And so I share those words with you to to encourage you. Um, yeah. I share those words with you, hoping to encourage and inspire you, um, or you'll pick something out of them that can benefit your own life right um so please listen to them you understand me go over them again and again and again and again i think i'm having some challenges here let me just see if i can fix this for you I want to make sure that we give you the best quality audio and video um i see like i having some little stuff right here in my visual i think i am trying to fix it fix it fix it fix it Hope I can fix it. Oh my lord, how am I going to fix it? No, it's not being fixed. It's not being fixed. Is it being fixed? Is it being fixed? Is it? I don't think so. All right. Tell me, tell me if the video is looking good in the mind. Blocking it, don't it? Oh Lord. Oh, did I not fix this before? All right. Don't worry yourself. Man is gonna go fix it for your people. Yeah. All right. Don't worry yourself. We're gonna we're gonna set it up. They're gonna fix it for me. My green screen giving me some problems. But yeah, we soon set it up for you. Right, so we're going to talk about the game. So be inspired by those. <laughs> you understand me? But, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, ultras trekking. As usual, people, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. I'm going to invite my guest um, to come on, and he's going to share his own thoughts and reflections with you. We're going to give you, the, 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 the persons in the comment section, a time to join the show. But I'm going to invite him on. We're going to show you the Trinidad and Tobago squad for this game. Talk a little bit about the coach. Talk about their form and all of that. But let's invite the guest on. And then I'm going to leave him on screen to talk to you for a minute or two. Go ahead, Sir Andre. Welcome to I Am Sure Sports. We're not hearing you. Muted. What's going on? How you doing? Doing wonderful. Doing wonderful. Doing wonderful. Yeah, man. You doing well? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing well, doing well. Um, couldn't be better, actually. No complaint. All right. So, so go ahead. I mean, share with us. I mean, I mean, what are your thoughts today? I mean, Trinidad. You know, you sound like you're Trinidad. I don't know. Are you from Trinidad? <laughs> I am born, born and raised. <laughs> so, how do you feel about this? Assi these assignments. You know, Jamaica versus Trinidad and Tobago. I mean, what is the feeling you're getting? Is there anything you're getting out of Trinidad in terms of how? You know, the team is getting ready for these sets of game. I mean, how are things going? How are things looking for well, this Trinidad team? Well, the truth is, I mean, we can we can look at look at it from the perspective that um there's two international games coming up and the coach have a responsibility to get a team together. Um I don't think we are blessed with a generous pool of players like you all, like Jamaica, um, the blessings Jamaica have. So um, we have to figure out what's the best way to get a pool of players together to, to compete in these two games and get a result because the results in those two games are, are very, very important in terms of, of where Trinidad and Tobago end up on the nations in the Nations League um, table in the group. And the ramifications of of not being top of your group yeah. um, could ultimately dictate the quality of the competition that you have for the next few years 
and and where you where you are um, seated in the in the World Cup qualifying round. So so he has a responsibility. He has a massive responsibility, and um, and it's a responsibility that that comes despite the fact that there has not been a league professional league in Trinidad and Tobago. There's one. There's a league due to start this week, I believe on Friday, but there have not been one. So, and so the players that he is he is um, selecting from um, is considered a local team, and most of them have not played competitive football for for a while. They've been the coach have been working with them, um, but they they have not played played competitive football week in and week out like like you all have in Jamaica. The, or, or in other parts of the world, so it's it's hard to have um, any to have an expectation um, that is consistent with what most football fans would like to see from Trinidad and Tobago. I think you know if you look at the under 17s their preparation, you know, was not ideal, but. They came out and they worked very hard. So I think anybody putting on the shirt of the national colors, you'd expect them to give their best. What what that might be, we have to wait and see. But um, I, I don't know that we are entitled to have any great expectation of what the outcome would be. Okay. All right. Well said. But I mean, um, let me just show you this. I don't know if you are aware, but Trinidad has really... Um, uh, I mean, quality of opponent is very important. So let me just uh, look at their fixtures up to this point, going back all the way to their first fixture um, of 20, um, 2022. The first fixture uh, was, I believe, on the, 20, the 21st of January in 2022. So let me show you it and kind of give you some idea as to what their form has been like. So so given the form, we're going to discuss that. Should the expectations be high? Because when you look at the form of the Trinidad and Tobago team, here we go. Um, their first game of 2022, they, they lost 5-0 to Bolivia. That was a friendly game, mm -hmm. right? That was in Bolivia. Right. Um, you know, that is at altitude and, you know, it's a start of a new year. So that may have affected the team's performance. But since that time, they played in March, they defeated uh, Barbados. We can question the quality of the opponent by nine goals to nil. That game was right. played in Trinidad and Tobago. Um, four days after that, they also defeated Guyana. Uh, well, they drew with Guyana 1-1. One, one. Um, of course, we can't, we can't probably just look at scores to determine quality of play, mm -hmm. but just, just going through to show you what their record has been. All right. In their next set of games in the, 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 the last two, I think that promoted them in the nation's league. So they ended up going in a group with, with Nicaragua. They lost their first game in Nicar Nicaragua yeah. um, by two goals to one. Uh, they then defeated the Bahamas by a goal to nil. They, 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 they defeated they sent Vincent and Grenadine's team by two goals to nil away. Then they defeated them at home, 4-1. Then they defeated St. Martin's recently, and now they have Jamaica to play. So they have started out the year on a winning note. And really, when you go back to 2022, they only lost to Nicaragua, and they lost their first friendly game to Bolivia. So... You could say that they are in somewhat of a good um, good form. Um, or you can't even say that because the quality of the opponent may not have been the best. So it's very hard to determine the quality of the team, given that as they progress in the Nations League, the games will become more difficult. Look, um, you're right. You have to look at the, the, the quality of the opposition. And the fact of the matter is that the... The football in the region, there's there's a lot of islands in the in the region that is that football is developing. Okay, and most of these ga games I've seen, and um, we, if you take the game versus Barbados, for example, 
the expectation in, of, of any football fan in Trinidad and Tobago would be that we should be able to dominate Barbados. We should be able to dominate uh, Guyana, but but we don't at the moment. Okay, um, losing five five zero in in uh, to Bolivia, it's it's a difficult one. I, I think a year before that we lost seven zero to America here in America. I don't think the results is indicative of where the football is at the moment and, and what what it can be. I think if you look at what what we have been in the past, you know, having gone to a World Cup in 2006, at least for me personally, the expectation is that we'd be, uh, we'd be in a much better situation. So not having a professional league is, I think, is, is, is part of the problem um, in terms of how the players are, are developing and, 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 and their readiness to, to play in international football. You, you cannot be prepared to play international football just training alone. You have to be in a professional environment, training, at least this is my opinion, and playing on a weekly basis in order to be able to be competitive in international football. So the results may not look bad, and I've seen some of these games. I mean, we played St. Martin recently. Um, we won the game. Uh, did we dominate St. Martin? I think that's, that's questionable. Um, and, and I would expect us to, to dominate a, a, a team like St. Martin. Yeah, but if, even if you go back to the Gold Cup, though, you did Trinidad in 2021, for example, had a nil-nil draw with, with Mexico. You can say that it uh, they, they got a result, though the, the performance in general, it was like forward versus defense, basically. But then they also lost in that same Gold Cup 2-0 to El Salvador. But, but, but the, the CFU... Um, some playoffs before that, they had defeated Monster at 6-1 and they, they had French Guyana. They, they defeated French Guyana on penalties. They defeated um, St. Kitts 2-0. They drew with the Bahamas in World Cup qualifiers. They drew with Puerto Rico in World Cup qualifiers. They defeated Guyana. These are first-round games. Honduras market defeated them and USA give them 7-0. Um, and, and, and so really and truly... They haven't lost a lot of games between. They have more wins than defeat. In other words, they, they have defeated the teams they are supposed to defeat. And the teams that they have lost to are um, Honduras, El Salvador, USA, um, and Bolivia. And, and well, Nicar they also lost to Nicaragua. So is that really as bad as sometimes we make it out to be, uh, you know, or is it just like I said, you can't even look at it that way because they are supposed to beat those teams anyway. So, um, look, it, it, it's, it's commendable despite the fact that we haven't had local football um, at, at any level for a while that we could still eke out a result. But you started the program by giving some quotations, right? And, and one of them that you give was, was from Albert Einstein. Um, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna throw one out there at you. Imagination is everything. It is the preview of life's life's coming attraction, right? So so for me, the teams teams like Honduras and USA, USA is not in the current qualification rounds, but these are the teams that we need to beat to be able to qualify for the World Cup, right? Um, so, and when you look at where we have been, yes, we are winning some of these games. And as you rightly said, these are teams that we, we should be beating, some of these teams. Are we in a situation where we can look forward? Because the past is, is fine. What we're looking at here is the past, and the past is, has its purpose. But I think the future is more important, right? What are yeah. we looking at? I mean, if I ask you right now, you're pretty, you're pretty comfortable with where Jamaica is heading. You're not worried about the past because you can't do anything about that. You can't change that. But, but, but are you comfortable with the direction of travel of Jamaica right now when it comes to the, 2000, the 2026 World Cup? Yeah, we, we, I mean, most Jamaicans would say we, we are beginning to see a flickering light. 
That means there's an end of the tunnel somewhere ahead of us. We haven't seen the light yet, but there's a little there's a little flickering going on, and we think like we are headed in the right direction. But what I will say though is this Trinidad team, like you have said, they have been together for quite a while. The same group of players with the coach, they have been together for quite a while. Not only that, but since 2021. Up to this point, they have had a better record in terms of game played. Mark you, we could say that Jamaica has played um, Argentina, USA, Mexico, teams that qualified for the World Cup, um, Cameroon. And, and, and so our games, some could say, were way tougher games, um, higher level game because of, you know, we were in the last... The, the last eight, and we had to play against the Canada and all of those teams. So we could look at it that way, but at the end of the day, if you go record for record, Trinidad has had a better record than Jamaica. Well, we, well, we, yeah. can't, we can't use the quality of competition um, when we want and then don't use it, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so you 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 have to consider that, and we need to be playing. We need to be playing Argentina. We need to be playing Mexico. We need to be playing. Though that's the space that I believe that we need to be in regularly in order to be competitive. Um, no disrespect to any of the games that we have, because those are games you you play them and you have to win them too. And this is why the Concacaf has went ahead and got into a relationship with with Conmebol. Um, I believe teams like the United States won those competitions. They want to play Brazil. They want to play Argentina. They want to play top teams out of South America because the belief is that would improve uh, the, the football, their football, so that they can compete at the World Cup level. Right? So, again, no disrespect to some of the teams on the island, but we need to be in the space where we play in the, the, the higher level competition within the region to start with. Yeah. All right. So bring, let's bring it closer home. Um, I have with me also, let me see if I can bring it up. The, but um, Oini says uh, a team can only beat who is in front of them. So you have to judge them based on who they play. At the end of the day, you can't judge them based on you should be playing Mexico because if they're not playing Mexico, um, you have to judge them based on who is in front of them. I think Fair that's point. The, yeah. Fair yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah, so let's 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 see. Um, I also have, like I said, the, the Trinidad and Tobago squad. We don't know, and I, 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 we have heard about a couple of the names because they have been around for quite a while. Mm -hmm. But you're saying that they have not been playing. So let's um, see if we can find it and show the people the the the, the Trinidad and Tobago squad that has been called up uh, for this game, um, but. I mean, uh, these are all players based at home. Well, Jamaica's reggae boys will battle old rivals. I, I, think, that and Tobago's I, think, that is, I think that is not it right there. <laughs> but go ahead. You can so, go ahead, Andre. So all of the players on the on the roster, uh, majority of the players on, on the roster is in Trinidad at the time. These are all teams um, that is in Trinidad and Tobago. Um the ones that, um, and, and some of these guys that, that are listed as unattached, they were playing here in the USA, and I think is at the moment um, is seeking new contracts. So such as uh, Noah Powder, uh, uh, Jesse Williams, um, uh, Jovin Jones. So, so let's go through it. Let's see if we can go through it together. People, I hope, um, I hope you can see it. Um, are you seeing it, people? Let me know if you if you're seeing it clearly, or I should try. And let me see if I can make the image a little bigger, and so we can go through it group by group, you know. And and so that way, um, I think that is the best we'll be able to do. So let's go through the defend the goalkeepers and defenders first. All right. Um, so here we go. So you have um, three goalkeepers: Marvin Phillips. Adrian Fon Fonsette. Fonset. Fonset. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Denzel Simis. Uh, one place for AC, Port of Spain, Police FC, and West Connection. No league has been played. But have do any of these goalkeepers? I mean, what is the international experience of the goalkeepers here? Well, 
Marvin Phillip is the is the oldest of the three goalkeepers, I believe, and and they they all been been playing. Uh, Marvin been playing in Trinidad um, for a long time. Um, I'm not. He's been with the national team as well for a long time. Um, so he's, um, you know, he's probably the goalkeeper that that is going to play. That's going to play the in Nations the League game. Yeah, it's, it's, it's probably going to play in the game. Um, well, not not necessarily Nation League. Yeah, probably Nation League game. But he's the leading goalkeeper in this group. Yeah, one would expect. Um, he probably, is, he the, is, is he the experience. official number one? Even when all the other goalkeepers are there, is he is he the number one? Um, for this coach, yes, I think he is. I think he has okay. been in, in the last uh, tournament in Asia. Um, he did play. That was the King's he, Cup. Yeah, the King's Cup. I think he played in the... He did not play in the first game. He did not play in the first game, I believe, but he played in the second game. I think he came on in the first game. He came on in the first game due to an injury from the goalkeeper. But he's, he's, um, he's a senior goalkeeper in the group. Okay. All right. And any of the other goalkeepers have kept, like, were in the last under 20. Is there any young goalkeeper in this group, like, who probably played under 20 or these are senior goalkeepers? Um, is there... I'm not familiar with Denzel Smith, but the other two are, are senior goalkeepers. Okay. All right. Let's move into the defenders. We see Alvin Jones, Kareem Riley, Josiah Trimingham. Mm -hmm. Andre Raymond, Justin Garcia, Jamil Neptune, and Jelani Felix. All right. Um, I see one said Jimenez FC Portugal. That doesn't mean that he plays in the Portuguese league or that's the name of a team in Trinidad. Um, that's the name of a team in Portugal. Okay. Um, it's the name of a team in Portugal. What level? Uh, you want us to check? <laughs> we, we could check what level it is, but I'll, let's. Well, just, uh, I, I, I looked it up before. It, it it seems to be an amateur club in Portugal. Okay, are any of these players were in the last U twenty team as defenders? As I'm defender. trying to figure out if there's any youth. Like the Jamaica team has some young players. So I'm trying to just see if they are like teenagers who have made this squad. That's why I kind of asking going through right. Are there any teenagers? Justin Garcia from Defense Force. Um, hold on. Yeah, so tell us Nani a little Felix. bit about I the. I don't think so. I don't think there's anybody here that was who in the played U20. in the last U twenty or U seventeen. Yeah. Okay. All right. So not, not a problem. All right. So let's move on from zero now. Talk to me about the defenders here. I mean, how many of these are first team defenders? Meaning, when the when the official team is around, these players would still play a role um, in the squad. I expect um, I expect Alvin Jones to be there. I expect Alvin Jones to be there. I expect um, probably Justin Garcia to be there. Justin Garcia and Alvin yeah. Jones, even yeah. when even when you have. You're 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 internationally, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That that's good. That's good. I mean, um, do you know of any the quality of any of these players? Like um, Alvin Joe's been uh, around the team. I think he's I think he's gonna play. Um I think he's gonna play. He he's been around the team for a long time. He's been he's been um a regular in the team and and, and he would I expect Alvin to play. Oh, but he's unattached, meaning he's without a club. Yeah, meaning he's without a club. Yeah. Oh. So, so he's he's um, probably looking to go back out. All right. I, I see here, like, I mean, so far I'm seeing a lot of players from AC Port of Spain. Yeah. Right. I mean, normally when you see, like, in Jamaica, one of the complaints that we had with our team is that why there are so many Mount Pleasant players on it. Um, is AC Port of Spain one of the better clubs 
why are they dominant? Because there has been a, no, there, there has not been a league, or is it that all of these t- players have now just transferred to this club? That's a good question. Um, they, they, they're not. Um, I don't want to say they're not one of the. Let's talk about clubs that's been around long time and have rep- repetition. You'd be talking about clubs like West. Caledonia, and West, clubs West. like Connection. Um, w Connection, um, J- is uh, a Jablote, yep, Jablote, those are clubs yeah. that, that has been been around a while. Sometimes, why so many players are with this club? It's a good question. It could just be a matter of resources. Sometimes, you know. Okay, all right, and and and, and standout. Yes, Alvin Jones is probably the senior of all the defenders, and probably yeah, the standout. Alvin, yeah, Alvin Jones has been a. Been around a while. He takes a good free kick. He was in the game against Mexico, and, and he played in the Gold Cup last year. Um, he's one that that I would expect to be on the squad for sure. He, you know, he's had experiences playing outside. He was at Real Salt Lake. He played here in the U.S. He played under twenty, under twenty three for Trinidad and Tobago. So, and he has about I think it's about forty caps, right? Um, so he's 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 a senior player in the national team. So okay. one would expect that he would be there. All right. Again, we see some more um, AC Porta Spain. And I think unattached, unattached and AC Porta Spain form the largest groupings of players for the Trinidad team. Mm-hmm. Um, so you have Matthew Wooling, Noah Powder, Jesse Williams, Kelly Overy, Jamal Williams, Justin Sadu, Michael Poon, Angeron, Jovin Jones, Rian Moore, Jean Paul, Rochford. I uh, see. Is that more related to the the, the more that we had on? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> I I don't know. They could be. They could be. <laughs> they could be cousins. <laughs> you, you remember the more? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So talk to us about these. There are two unattached, well, three unattached midfielders. And we see one here who, who plays in the USA at Sports in Kansas City, USA. But kind of strange that he's available seeing that the MLS just started. Yeah, he he's, again, um, my information is that he's at trials at Sports in Kansas I don't okay. Know if the trial is still going on. I don't know, what, but that's that's the information that I have that he was at trials, not, not that that he's a signed player to the club. Um, no powder. Um, he's on attach. He was he was in the MLS. He was in the USL. Um, his last last club was FC Tulsa. You know he has um, a lot of experience. He's been in the, he's been in the team before. Um, about a dozen times, and and he's one of those that you would expect to be there from the midfield as well. Uh, Jesse Williams was here um, in the U.S. in the U.S.L. Um, that one is would he, won't he? That's going to be for the coach to decide. At the end of the day, it's probably going to be based on his on his performance. Um, and Jovin Jones is is another one that's a senior player. He was at um, his last club was Inter Miami. Okay, it was his last club. He's he's apparently out of contract now and and looking for a new contract. So that's probably why he's listed as an attached. But he he's been in the team before, and we expect him to be there along with 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 we and more. And um, John Paul Rushford has you know he's he's been in the team regularly as well. So I mean, Jovin Jones has is probably about. 15 caps or so, 20 caps or so short of, of 100 caps for Trinidad and Tobago. And he came through the the um, under 20 and under 23 ranks as well. So, so at, the eight, at, at 31, he still has something to offer. Yeah. I see also you have a Jamal Williams um, who plays in El Salvador. Y- yeah. Um, it's it's interesting again as you as you pointed out he he plays in Sal, in Sal, uh, Salvador but available for this um for this opportunity for this game and so I'm not so sure 
I'm not yeah. so sure what's happened there. He was with um with Furpo, but that's listed way back as 21. So 2021, if you if you um in looking that up, that's the last time. Um could be that suggesting that he's not probably playing, though he's listed as uh, from that club because but, that but, but he, signed, going. he signed with that club and there were no games played, you know. So I'm not so sure. Oh, okay. No Maybe they didn't want to put played, an extra touch there. But before he was he was with Metapan and, and had 59 games and and um and scored quite a few goals for them. Okay. So All I'm right. not sure what's happening there at the moment, but you know, he's available and he's probably gonna be in the squad. Okay. All right. And then and then you have the attackers, um Jamul France Francois. Francois. Mm -hmm. that, that's the name. Um Queasy Watson, Weston, sorry, Nathaniel James, and Kadim Corbin. No, Kevin, none of the regular guys that we know. Tell us a little bit about these attacking players. One is again AC Port of Spain, um, Louisiana Crew FC, which is I think in the USL. West Connection and Central FC are the four clubs that they are attached to. Angus Eve, as you all know, is the head coach of Trinidad and Tobago, former TNT national player. Um, yeah, tell us a little bit about the the, the attacking. Um, the, the players listed as, as attackers. So, um, Jamal Francis, I don't know much about him. Quisi Weston, you know, Louisiana Crew is a, I think that's a USL2 team. Um, and they play in the, in the summer here in the US. Uh, Nathaniel James is, is with W Connection. He, He's listed as being with, with W Connection. Um, he's only 18. Um, he's, he's, he's a young boy. Um, Kadeem Corbin. Kadeem Corbin played. I remember him from 2015 with the under 17 team. Um, and he's been playing in Trinidad since and and of course, there's there's been no football, right? Ex outside of the Ascension League and and some of those yeah. um, tournaments that pop up from time to time. So, I, I mean, the squad is it's, it's difficult to discuss discuss the squad when most of them have been in Trinidad and when there's no Not football. Not playing any football. Yeah, it, it, it's very difficult to 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 know what to expect. Uh, um, and how, one and how long has he had? Sorry, sorry. Go ahead and finish. Sorry. I, I say one would hope that they would um the little bit of work that they would they were doing that it it would that they would come out the fact that they put on the national team shirt and give the best effort. I know Angus Angus functions in that type of spirit, right? He he believes in working hard for the country. We saw it against um against Mexico in the Gold Cup in the last Gold Cup. Um he could inspire that type of Will create from them at, at at any moment. So one would just hope that at least the game would be competitive. But we do have a history of getting a result against Jamaica, so I I I um I wouldn't dismiss that. Yeah, that is true. Um, the other thing, uh, just a couple of things is I, I noticed like even Jamaica, there is a Dujan um, Whisper Richard who was. Uh, just finished playing schoolboy football in Jamaica. He has been called up. Um, there is also Asha Hutchinson, who was part of the last under-20 squad as a goalkeeper. All right. Um, that's the next one um, that has been called up. So we, we see at least those two players who are part of the youth setup that has been that they have been called up um, to, 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 to this team. Um, whether or not they'll make the starting 11. Um, Trinidad and Tobago just participated, like I said, last year in the U20s. Um, you know, like Jamaica, they didn't, I don't think they, they made it out of the group stages. No, they didn't. Right. But in the under-17, they, they, they came out of the group and then they lost the game. But I, I don't see any of those players. The under-20 came out of the group and I think lost the... the, the um the game outside of that. 
outside of the right. So yeah. I don't see any of those players transitioning. And this is a friendly game. So uh, uh, what is happening there? Or is it that the two Nations League game are so important to them that they have decided that we are going to go with our most experienced players, um, prepare them, because those under-20 players have not been right. And we also had Delano Splat, who was in it, um, Lem Lembikisi, who was in our U20s, Tyler Roberts, who was in our U20s. These players are also in England, and Jamaica was able to make the kind of connections to get them to come and play at this time. So, but, yeah, go ahead. Well, that, that, that was impressive on your behalf. Um... I don't know if that came out of the fact that the coach traveled over there and, and met with people. And um, But Nathaniel James was in the under-20, right? Um, but the the uh, the couple of players that... Um, the That's couple of players that, Yeah, yeah, Nathaniel James was. Um, okay. but, but the couple of players that you would think would be in this squad, you know, like a Malik Khan, who was the captain of the team... Yeah, you know, he's here at Minnesota. I think he's with the the um, MLS Next Pro Minnesota team. Um, Real Gill probably was another one that um, that probably should have been in this roster, but I I heard I read somewhere that he's away with his team from Trinidad. They're touring somewhere in the Caribbean, so 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 he's not there. Outside of that. It's a good question as to why there isn't more younger players in the squad. Oh, he's touring with his like he has a, his club is in Trinidad and they are on a Caribbean tour. Yes. Oh, that's, okay. that's my understanding. Yeah. What about and somebody is asking about what about the U seventeen player from Crystal Palace? Any reason for the not for his non call up? Nothing was discussed about that, as far as I know. There was some talk while he was with the under-17 that um, that he should be with the senior team. Some people were saying that in, I believe, on social media. Um, I've not heard any of the coaches say that. So, you know, he, he's an under-17 player, right? And, and Is he in the coach's mind? Is he does he have the quality to play in the coach's team? I think he had a look at him. I think he went and he saw him at practice, if I'm not mistaken. At least that's what's being reported. So again, I can't tell you why why he's not. Maybe, maybe the coach don't think he's he's ready to be part of the senior setup as yet. Yeah. I know initially he also said that there shouldn't be, you know, sort of any high expectations. Um, just based on the fact there has been no league, the players are um, based locally, but haven't the players been in non-stop camp um, for quite a while now, or they, they, they have not been in camp? Well, they, they, they have been training together for a while now, but as you know, management, it, it's you, 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 there's fitness that we can get from, from training, and there's match fitness. And match fitness comes from, as you know, from playing in matches, playing games, playing every weekend. And um, they, they, they have not had that. The players have not had that. They've played a couple of games. I think the last one they played was, was against a local club, uh, Club Sando. And, and you, you know, the, the result might have gotten into the double digits, I'm not sure. So it, it, is that the type of of do they present the type of challenge that they're going to get in Jamaica, right? Is, is, that, is that the type of preparation that, that you need in order to go into an international match? So it's, the expectation is or should be that we don't know what's going to happen. We, know, we, we would expect them to go and fight and work hard and, and, and represent the country, but from a preparation perspective I'm sure anyone would agree any football mind would agree that it is not the best preparation you are bringing in guys that's playing at professional clubs young guys that playing at professional clubs every week I think that 
that would make a difference. Yeah. Yep. 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 I mean, some very good points. So you're expecting you, you don't have um. Yeah, you don't have a uh, 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 like high expectations then in terms of well, the result. What I tell you is, so we look at it two ways. They're preparing for two very important games, right? That that's what's going on. So what is important here for the coach is 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 it winning? Or is it finding out who from this group can help him win the two games later this month, right? I don't know what his priorities are, but at the end of the day, when you talk about football and results, we wouldn't play the game if we know what the result would be, right? Yeah. Right, so we don't know what the result would be. That's why the game have to play. So anything can happen. Anything can happen, but I would prefer... I would prefer look at it from the perspective of can he utilize these two games to figure out who can help him win on the 24th in the Bahamas and win on the 27th again in Barbados against Nicaragua so that Trinidad and Tobago could be on top of the group. Okay. Uh, for All me, right. that's, that's the best way to look at it. And, and if All you right. happen to get a result... Um, in Jamaica, <laughs> so be it. But if you come out, if you leave Jamaica with the understanding that these six, eight, or ten guys could help me do that, and and they're better prepared as a result of the two games, or, or, or you know they're further along. I don't know how much further along these two games would take them. I, I think he would have achieved something. I, I see. It looked like um, I know you have to leave. I see like Katara. Katara is the is the reggae boys Al China. So he's taking you on. As him with all the information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in the comment section. Taking you on, you know. Saying he's taking you on, what's he saying? <laughs> he's taking you on, saying that Trinidad go lose and all of these things. So let me just <laughs> give him, this is the head-to-head. -head, um, the head-to-head -head results, Jamaica versus Trinidad and Tobago, right? So my record is showing that there have been a total of nine games, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, two wins for Trinidad. Three for Jamaica, and there have been four drawn results. So it's not, it's not far, right? Um, Nineteen total goals scored, um, nine by Trinidad, ten by Jamaica. All right, um, and they kind of break down home stadium. Um, Trinidad has won um, one at home. Jamaica won two at home, and 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 there has been a draw. Um, as well, and then the other way is that away, there have been um, five games. Trinidad won one away, Jamaica won one away, and then there is a tie result. So we can go down to the, the last. So this is 2010, 2010. You see the final score was in favor of Jamaica. Um, in 2013, Trinidad defeated Jamaica. That game was played in Trinidad. In 2010, again, the, they said the biggest Jamaica scoreline was a 3-1. I think that is the same one as the one up, 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 up top there. In 2017, mm -hmm. there was a friendly game that Jamaica defeated Trinidad in Trinidad, 2-1. There was a drawn result. In, in CONCACAF, um, some qualifiers in 2014. In 2013, Trinidad defeated Jamaica by two goals to nil in Trinidad. In Jamaica, Trinidad defeated Jamaica by a goal to nil. And in 2010, Jamaica defeated Trin well, Trinidad at home. And Jamaica defeated Trinidad again, 3-1 in Trinidad. Um, yeah, so the, the, the results have been have been quite... If, if you look at the results, 28, if you look at the results... When was the last time we played each other? 2017. 2017, what was, it, what was the result in that? Jamaica won 2-1. And so and since 2020, 2013, Trinidad has not... So, so it has been 10 years now since Trinidad has had a, a victory over Jamaica. Okay, so what's the next log logical thing that can happen? Yeah, what's the next logical thing that can happen? 
Well, you know what? I will let him. I, I will let him answer the question. I can't answer for him. You know, cataract. You have to come and <laughs> well, tell well, let me ask you. I'm asking you then. <laughs> What's the next logical thing in ten years? And uh, given if, if where we, us, if you've beaten us in ten years, no, no, Trinidad has not defeated us since twenty. In, in ten in the last ten years, though, we have not played a lot of games, though. To be fair, right. So, we so have my right. question to you. Is what is the next logical thing that can happen? Well, the fact that in 2017 we defeated Trinidad, I think the next logical thing that could happen is that Jamaica beat Trinidad at home because <laughs> because because who, who, the home who, record, the home who record, the logic teacher, <laughs> <laughs> the home record for the teams, you know, they normally don't lose to each other mm. at home when they play. That's yeah, the thing. Yeah. That that's part of it. I think that's part of the thing. Um, <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Logically, Jamaica <laughs> will eat zero. <laughs> so I've pinned the link. Um, so Keterak, or if you want people, you can call it because Andre um, uh, will have to, will, will be leaving um, yeah, Shortly, so Ketarak, yeah. you need to you need to uh, get on before he leaves, so you can ask him whatever question you have, right? But yeah, I mean, I see your yeah, be I strong, be I strong. I don't know what was happening yesterday. I think you were trying to call. We're having some problems with the line, so let's just hope it is working today for those of you who want. Um, but yes, Andre, you 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 your yeah, the expectations are not really you know high. Well, it's not, it's not, I mean, you could jump out there. I mean, fans obviously would say um, a fan from Trinidad and Tobago would expect Trinidad to win. A fan from Jamaica would expect Jamaica to win. I, I try to view football through a different lens in terms of, of what's realistic. Okay. So um, if you, you have a league running, um, you have a league running, the players are playing every week. Um, I, I, and and we don't. So I would expect anyone would expect that your team would can be potentially be more more prepared. And 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 if if that's the case, then you know the results could follow. But then we have moments like we had against Jamaica. We played with a team that wasn't with a lot of players that wasn't playing as well against Mexico in, in the Gold Cup, and we got a result. So there are those moments, right? Um, there are those moments. Um, but does that does that help us going forward? You know, so I'm looking at it from a football perspective and not from a fan perspective. <laughs> yeah. if, if I was to be a fan, we'd, we'd win the game. Okay, okay. And I mean, Angus Eve is a is a pro license coach or a license coach. I I don't I I I don't know Angus status as as a as a coach. What license he hold? Um. I know that um, the last A license course, um, he he did he didn't do that one or he didn't get on that one. He didn't do it. I don't know what the situation was, but I don't know his status in terms of what he holds at the moment. It's very difficult sometimes to get information in China. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's not it's not as easy as you can see. You know, people from your federation come on and share and talk and and it may be. A new thing for Jamaica, I, I, I don't know it it, 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 but if it is, it's happening, right? And people are being transparent, and I think that's that's a good thing, in my opinion. That's a good thing. Yeah. Well, we we, we are super excited. One because we believe we have a good mix of players playing in the local leagues. Mm -hmm. um, we also have players who are playing um, internationally. Um, who have come into the team. We have players who have played mm -hmm. in the proper senior setup um, as well. We have players who they play... I, I hope this is the mistake Tennessee Lowe is making here by putting an A to the end of my name. Oh, I hope it's a mistake. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, he said Andrea. <laughs> no, it's Andre Tennessee. Make sure it's... A... <laughs> hey, listen, you got to fix that, man. Let me take down that comment. Hey, hey, Tennessee. <laughs> Tennessee, you have, to, you have to put that correct spelling with a super chat, brother. You cannot do that. With, with a yourself. super chat. <laughs> with a super chat. There you go. With a super chat. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, man. man. Uh, somebody, um, as if Flavor Max says, string that get rid of their best coach years ago. Since that, they have fallen apart. 
I think he's talking about Bertie Sinclair. I, I'd be interested to know who he's talking about. Yeah, who you're speaking might, about? He might be talking about Stephen Hart. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but what I'll say is this, that I think so Jamaica has a, a, that good mix. Um, you have players like we, we have uh, at least one player, well, a couple of players who have played in the EPL who will be here playing. One played this season, which is Omari Hutchinson, played for Chelsea. Um, he's going to be a part of it. Like I said, we have players who are playing um, presently in our local league, very competitive, um, and, and that could work. But even the players who uh, we have, like Lamar Walker, for example, who have been called up to the team, who um, was recently playing in the, in, in, in the USL, he's back in Jamaica, and he just registered and started playing. So even the returning players are playing regular football and all these players have played well let me say this most of the players have actually played competitively in the last year both at the international level and at the club level and so i think that argues well we, we we have a new coach as well some of these players are some of the same players that played in the cameroon game that we played that we went to cameroon and we get a a, a one one uh draw against cameroon in cameroon um, but nothing, uh, um, nothing is really set in stone. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, it it's really on the on the given day what is going to be done. Donovan Donovan Macroda, big up all the persons who have come on to the chat. Let me just say to you, please remember, if if you just came on, just take a minute and hit the like button. That um, the game will be played at the New York Red Bull Stadium, and that is in New Jersey. All right, um, Donovan, it will be played at the Red Bull Stadium in New Jersey. All right, yeah. What's what's the situation with Ravel Morrison? He is not in the the the, the squad uh, at DC, but he has not been cut. He still has a contract with them, so he's still training. Okay, he's just not part of the roster right now, but he's going to be um, here for the game. Right, I saw his name in the roster. Yes, yeah, so he's going to be here for the game. We have Lemby Kesey, um, who is at Wolves, and he has played uh, for Wolves in the FA Cup. Right, Delano Splat played in the FA Cup. So we have players who have played um, this season at those levels. Will they be able to gel together and come together is something that we, we have to look at. The, 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 the majority of the squad that have been called up are players from like Mount Pleasant Cavaliers. Uh, there is a Arnett Garden goalkeeper. Um, uh, there are Harborview players. So there, there are players in the top teams in the league right now. So all of these things, um, yeah, all of these things are kind of, I think, work in our in, in our favor. The fact that the coach has had several camps with the players as well. Right. Um. Yeah. You you have how many teenagers do you all have in the team? Uh, uh th there is a goalkeeper that Asha Hutchinson is one of the goalkeepers that has been called up. Um. There's a Bernard who got a late call up. Um. And there's Dujon Whisper Richards who got a call up. Lemby Kisa is a teenager. Omari Hutchinson is a teenager. Tyler Roberts is a teenager. Delano Splat is a teenager. Dante Casanova is a teenager. So I yeah, think there are ten. Seven? Ten. I think, ten. I think there are around ten teenagers out of the 25. Let me, let me just make sure. Let me just... I see some comments here. Um, Braxton, Ari, welcome. He says, blessing all. Big up yourself, my name's man. I miss your show. When Frankie was on, Brax, Braxton Harris, a Jamaican coach, but he knows Frankie um, as well, right? Um, this one says there will be. Oh, he's speaking about the game. Uh, our friend from Italy, Simon Garino, he says, "Big up Jamaica, brethren from Italy, cheering up reggae boys since 1997. R.I.P. Shorty and R.I.P. Peter Cargill, of course." Um, I would like to ask if Tyreek McGee is playing with his Belgium team 
and and if there is a chance Tyreek will be called up. Well, it, it, the squad has been called up. Tyreek is not in this in this squad. Um, I know he was in Jamaica. He still has a contract with Open, but I don't. See, he's not playing. So whether or not, but he's still in a contract. If he never had a contract, I think he would have been playing in Jamaica. But he's still in his contract, so he has to keep training and see if he can break into the team. But he's not called up for this. Um, respect, Anita Bell. Listen, and it's also, Andre, today is International Women's Day. So all the females who are watching the stream live are on the rewatch. Bless up. Happy international women's day and all the men who can send in a super sticker super chat for all the beautiful ladies we saw betty there is anita um and there's one more female that is watching so send in something saying happy international women's day to all the mothers um and all the females, all the ladies, all the daughters, all the aunts, all the, the, the grandkids, all right? Yeah, so, yeah, um, yeah. Tennessee Lewis is bonified. <laughs> yeah, so he corrected it. All right, Tennessee. <laughs> so people of Tennessee is forgiven for calling my friend Andre, Andrea, instead of Andre. Right, on International Women's Day, so he has apologized yeah, for his parents. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, you're welcome, Anita Bell. And she always makes a very important comments, especially, um, you know, after the videos and she goes to the channel. Right, but um, so that's the thing. I think, and I think Ketarak said it earlier, that the coach is almost preparing for transition because what is happening, you can see, that there, there are several, so you have Dujan Whisper Richards, Tyler Roberts, Delano Splat, uh, Dexter Lembikiso, uh, Dante Casanova, Asha uh, Hutchinson, um, Bernard was also called up. Yeah, you're right. So seven of them, right? Um, that are there um, in, in this squad. And so that's very commendable that we are seeing that happening right now that so many younger players uh, you still have richard king who's just 20 something um uh stewart is still early 20s anderson is early 20s um, <laughs> um there's a next one so, so a lot of the players are 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 still very young they are they are 23 and under but you still have like a uh, adrian mariapan a ravel morrison who are older players who are in the team as well because King is pretty young and Topi 21, 22 years old, um, but they just have been playing a lot of games at the at the senior level, um, so that I think is very uh, commendable in terms of what the coach is 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 doing. I don't know how you feel about that in terms of the transition um, for. Trinidad and Tobago, getting players from your U17 and your U20 to be a part of your um, senior setup. I think that's that's the purpose of those U teams, right? They they should be um, producing players that go th for the for the national senior team. So a player supposed to go um, should go ideally from the 17s to the 20s. Um, into the senior team on the 23 into the senior team but what happens is is um the program shut down after the tournament right so at least in Trinidad um we don't have like the under 20 played and and, and then that was it and then the under 17 play and I'm not aware of anything that's taking place right now to take them through maybe something is gonna is gonna happen within the next few weeks the next few months but Historically, the tournament is over and, and the team is over. The last time that we we had players go from an under seventeen team to under twenty team and, in, uh, and into the senior team players play professional into the senior team. That was the team with uh, Kevin, Kevin Molino and those guys yes. I believe that went that went to the World Cup. I think Jobin Jones might have been part of that team as well. And these guys are now 30, 31 years old. Um, and I don't think we've had that since. Um, 
so it's it's it's, it's not inconsistent that you know we, we don't see a lot of young players in the team yeah i see i see romaine gidar singh saying that love what's happening was waiting for the young men to get their opportunity and then flavor max is is asking andre if gary griffith son is a part of the Trinidad team and how good is he? Is there anyone like you think like this player could have gotten an opportunity at this time? Is there is there any notable absentee? And and then you can answer Flavor Max question as well. No, I I it's hard to talk about notable absences when we have not played football. Right? It's very, very difficult to say this one should yeah. be ahead of this one. Um if we're talking about the players on the Outside, in a few weeks or in a few days, we, we're going to have a roster, and then we can we can probably have that conversation. Discussion, okay. As in regards to the young man that he asked about, um, his name is not on the roster, and um, I've seen him play about fifteen minutes of football. I think in 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 um, the Ascension League one time. So I don't I don't know much about his quality. There's a standout player in the Ascension League. I think he's Saint, Saint Benedict. I think it's a midfielder that plays at like an attacking midfielder. Um, is it Saint Benedict? Saint Benedict's and who went to the, like the final? Um, you're talking about um, um, you're talking about. I know who you're talking about it's um, an attacking player, but. Yeah, I'm wondering if a player like that who had, I think, what was a tremendous season um, could have been given a, 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 a look-in. Are you talking about Tariq Lee? Yes, Tariq, Tariq Lee. It was St. Benedict's and who? Um, um, Tariq um, Lee, I Fatima. think he played for St. Benedict's. I think he did. And there's a Fatima. It was St. Benedict's and Fatima that went to the, the that finals. That went to the final, yeah. Yeah. Um, and there's also one from Fatima as well. I can't remember the name, but I mean, there were two good players. There was one who played like he always came in from the right, um, more like an attacking midfielder or probably a wing forward kind of a player, but very good. It was very skilled, scored some goals and had a lot of assists, always creating opportunities for his team. So so, so the, 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 the thing is with the two coaches may be in different situations. So you have Coach Hagamson, just signing his contract. I, um, I, I don't know. Is it a is it a four or five year contract? Yes. Is it until the World Cup? Yes. Uh, oh, yes. Yes. Right. I'm so good, yeah. and um, I think I think the Trinidad and Tobago coach contract is is um is probably expiring soon. So he his objective I'm sure would be to try to earn himself a new contract. Okay, so forward. he wants to. He has to win, basically. So, so his situation is probably different. So, to to, so he's going to want people that he believe one would think that can help him stay in his job, uh, basically, <laughs> which is which is understandable. So, so results results at the end of the day would be important, especially at the end of the month. Definitely awesome. All right, I know you said you had to leave. It's way yep. past the time, and I don't want yep. it to run, but want to thank you for coming on as you shared with us. Things from a Trinidad and Tobago perspective, we're going to, um, you know, um, dissect and extrapolate as much as we can from a Jamaican perspective. So um, hope you keep watching, and um, we will have some more discussion as the, the game draw close on Saturday. Don't know if you'll be able to make any of them. It doesn't appear so. But if you do, then I'll see you either at the National Stadium or Catherine Hall in Montego Bay. I want to say a big thank you to the man they call Mr. Andre. Will Trinidad and Tobago be Andre fortunate enough? To eke out a result against Jamaica. Well, well, we we refer to as warriors, right? So, and uh, and if the under seventeen, um, the effort the under seventeen put out is any evidence of that, then we'd be all right. We'd be all right. We, yeah, we won't give up. Uh, well, I, I like how you, I like how you're phrasing your thing. We will be all right. It's almost like somebody's talking from a position of defeat. We will be all right. We won't give up. It's almost like an expectation that Jamaica are going to do better, but we won't give up. 
we'll be all right, no matter the outcome. So I think you need to change. You well, know? well, well, you need to be careful with that because that could be gamesmanship. You never know. <laughs> oh, oh, you're playing possum with us in Jamaica. I see. <laughs> I, I, make sure you have cataract in the end, especially if, especially if the outcome doesn't go your way. Cat no, one thing with cataract, win, lose, or draw, he win, hide. Going to. He's yeah, not yeah, going yeah. to have that. That I will tell you. He's he's one of those real fans. Yeah, he's good. He's going to put his face out there, win, lose, or draw. Yeah, yeah understand he's a... me. Yeah, he he's he's like that. <laughs> all right, man is man. So let me run. Yeah, man. All right, thank you. I take, right, take care. Take care, brother. Yeah. All right. All right. So there you go. We, that, that's my friend right there. We we host a lot of programs uh, together. Brain Drain, I hear a lot of people speaking about McGee. I haven't seen you say one thing in response. That's normally not your attitude. So I'd love to hear what you have to say in re response uh, to some of the, the, the suggestions that have been made about Tyreek McGee. I think Tyreek McGee has had a rough time. And uh, uh, my, my, my prayer and my hope is that um, he will get it right. I think, I still believe that there is um, some gifting, some talent in there. Some gifting our talent in there, right? Um, and it just needs to be on earth before it is too late. Uh, and, and that's my hope. I hope that at some point he will fall into the right hand at the right place with the right people to maximize his potential. I, I really wish him all the best. Um, it would be very unfortunate if we had one more of our youngsters' um, career kind of go downhill um, at such a young age. I, I wish like, probably like a brain drain, like somebody who supports him, that you'd have a conversation with you. He, I think he needs um, like a personal coach, not a personal footballing coach, but a personal coach that 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 I think could help him um, as it relates to his own personal development, his mindset, his attitude, and those things. It must be very difficult for him, right? Um, it must be very difficult for him. All right, um, that much I know. All right. Um, so let's see. Uh, maybe some persons don't agree with me, but <laughs> all right. But let's see. I, I still believe in 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 people uh, bouncing back. You know, people coming back. I shared those quotes earlier. Um, so yeah. Let's see. Let's see. But um, King Amir, King Amir is asking. I see King Amir asking. I see King Amir asking um, if the game will be televised. All right, people, please. All right, I I would have loved if the game is televised. I think this is a good question. Um, firstly, for the persons live, for the persons who live outside of Jamaica, because most of you can't. Yesterday, we said, listen, if you're outside of Jamaica, um, drop some super chat and say, man's man, here is $10, here is $20, buy somebody a ticket. I will buy the ticket and I'll give it to them so they can go and support the game. Because I think if, the if there's a rush on the ticket and the tickets are sold out, e I could even get a vlogger to show the game because the tickets are sold out, right? But it's it's hard for the federation trying to get money to without a sponsor to allow the game to be broadcast everywhere because some people once it's on TV they'll say oh me not spend my money right so number one number one I agree that for persons outside of Jamaica it should be made available for them to watch live. But the persons who reside in Jamaica, I think unless the tickets are completely sold out, then it should not be showed live because it's also in an effort to, to sustain and finance the campaign. All right? Okay. 
Um, so so that that's 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 my opinion. Maybe you disagree with me, but that's my opinion. The program needs your support. So I'm I, I, listen. I'm supposed to. I think someone called about getting a ticket. We got some money yesterday. We're gonna get you a ticket to go to the game because we want the tickets to be all sold out, right? Saturday and Tuesday. However, I know that the game will be videoed, I think, by the JFF or someone, so it may be showed um, delayed. It, it will be showed delayed. Right? It will be showed delayed. So you'll still see the game. But for me, critical is if the tickets are sold out, then I would personally say to Mr. Chung, Mr. Chung, can coaches desk and military gunner or some of the vloggers just put this on their platform seeing that the tickets for the game in Montego Bay have been sold out right um somebody saying that um set up a pay to stream but remember now to do that you have to have um you you'll have to have people willing to video do all the video and that is going to cost i don't think at the short notice they can do that but this is a very good idea jerome 876 and i think it's something the jff needs to do where their games are not where the games they don't have any they don't have any broadcasting rights being sold and there's no tv revenue coming in what they should do is even put it on their thing and um so they would they would benefit from the views Yeah, Duclan, when I say sold out, I mean full stadium, at least at Catherine Hall. I think we can full the Catherine Hall. I think we can f we can full Catherine Hall. I think enough people can buy a thousand dollar ticket to full to full the Catherine Hall stadium. That's just me. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. So JFF, what you could do is find a good set of people who can video and stream it on your YouTube platform and make it available for people outside of Jamaica then. Or like I said, do a pay to stream. You understand me? So, so I'm so cry, let me tell you this, right? Because you know it is, you probably, you probably subscribe to comment and cut off. If you can't find, if, 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 fine, the people who, let me tell you this, South cry, the people who cannot, let me say this, the people who cannot cook food in Jamaica for their families are not asking for the game to be streamed. It is people like you who criticize everything. But here's what, you're not going to pay your money for watching, not Jamaican football. You want it to be streamed so you can watch it because you know, you're not, you're not going to know much. You're not spending your money, go watch no much. You are the person I'm speaking about. Not the people them who can't, because the people who the people who can buy food don't have time to go to much. I know them. Them not think about Jamaica much. The man who can't eat anything, I try to think about him next meal. Them not have time, them not have TV. Them not have TV in them house. Them not have no cable. Understand that. Those are the people. Those are the people, South Korea. We know them. We help them. Those are the people. Those people don't come out and ask to put game on TV and game on this and game on YouTube. Them not a bang of phone them have. Them not have no YouTube. Them not, them not subscribe to no channel. Them not have time to watch reggae boys game. They don't have time to watch no reggae boys. Them not have time for football. Cause they end up on the hustle non-stop. When them done work, I them bed them one go. In a them look up, them look up sock with them three kids and their boyfriend in a one bedroom and the stove in there and the pail in there, the bucket in there. Them not have no TV for your watch. The man have to stay up and I listen to see if my body come broke in them house. Or shot of fire.
that is the end of that because <laughs> big of sword cry people we know sword cry though sword cry i'm gonna use a call in brother for kla is our villain now. big up yourself i, I know jason I, I i listen i think i i believe like Katara that the amount of jamaicans alone on youtube jamaicans in jamaica alone on youtube were criticized can buy a thousand dollar ticket to go to Catherine Hall. I'm not saying maybe the stadium won't be full, but Catherine Hall we can full. And I also believe that the Federation need to go around still and give out some tickets. Need to give, go to the primary schools them and the high school them, go Cornwall College, Herbert Morrison, great the, those schools down there, and give out a hundred tickets and get some of the kids them back into the unseen. Go buy a ticket, but you need a ticket. Go and go buy a ticket unseen. But but you are poor. Go and go buy a ticket. You think poor people like you are go to work with tie around their neck? Them not poor. You, every day you go to work, you, you don't have tie around your neck. And I wear big clocks. You, you, wear, you wear green pants, go work, you have green clocks. You wear brown pants, go work, you have brown clocks. You have black, and you talk about poor. Go and speak, so man. Go and speak, so unseen. You want to be poor? Go and speak, so. Go and speak, so unseen. You don't know poor yet. You don't know poor yet unseen. Ryan, tell them about poor now, man. <laughs> go on, go on. Welcome to the show. <laughs> well, well. But, yeah, man, be there, yeah, man. <laughs> the people that know poor yet, Ryan. And chat, man, so long a town, and I sell peanut and chocolate and banana chips. Milk ball. Can you imagine? I sell a sweet in him. When them call them Bami, um, Bam Bam, Lollipop, I yeah. say Lollipop. Yeah, man, I say Lollipop at National Stadium, and I bring that from Waterhouse. But tell the man, it's a $20 feet, and the man give me $5,000 bill just come out. And I say milk ball and bubble gum, I sell the milk ball in for $2. And the man put a $5,000 the man there on be a woman, and say, you, they have changed. And I say, yeah, man. And I'm saying, I'm going to change you, man. I'm going give him the, 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 the yeah. sweetie. Man, end up by one sweetie, you know, out of five thousand dollars bill, you know. I'm going to look straight now, man, and change it. Pull out where I come from. Better than knock a long poop on my shelf. Hey, I'm going to tell you. Oh, man. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. If you pick plum, wake up a man in time and pick plum. If you go sell downtown. And guinea pan thing for sell down a town, so no wake up and now nothing to eat. I forgot a town for sell. So, <laughs> right, listen to the one your man said, Devil Dog, Devil, Devil Dog said, Top of the morning, man is man. Hope all is well. I want to bring and see go Africa is a tad go trade him for two goat. <laughs> Even no <though> poor. <laughs> yeah, but Ryan, give us a thoughts, you know, because I have not really heard from you. Again, happy Women's Day to all the females. Watching the stream live and on the rewatch, you understand me? It's International Women's Day, so big up all of the women, you know, all about. No, the, the, the UK players are going to get into Jamaica at 7.50, all right? I think there's a training session in Kingston today, you understand me? And then after that, bam, they're going to go down, all right? Um, yeah, man. So, Ryan, go ahead. I mean, talk to me about what you're saying. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm never, I'm never joining here, here on the show, but... Um... I want you to do me a favor, man. Yeah, man. You're going to the game in Kingston, right? Yeah, man. I'm going, I'm going both games. Okay. All right. So, can you do me a favor? Yeah, man. I'm giving away five tickets yeah. for Mobile game and five tickets for Kingston game. So, ten tickets now. All right. Um, yeah, PayPal account. Yeah, man, we can work out that afterwards and then we just get the tickets then. Definitely. All right. Easy, easy. Do that for me. But, yeah, um, Sorry, but, but listen up, me, me I tell you from now, I don't give people like unseen no ticket. You know? No. Okay. But you are know, going to give it to me by your channel. Okay. And the next time I'm going to give it tonight. Oh, no, that's yeah. it. No, you give a three, I'm gonna give a seven. So give a three and think. 
All right. right. And see, Tyrone Williams just just sent sent a super a super sticker to get tickets to the game as well. Big up Tyrone Williams. I saw the yeah, man. yeah, man. No for sure. But me me me, me talk to you after here and yeah, come yeah. here and give up there first. Yeah, man. And we work for that. Easy, easy, easy. One, two, three. All right. Uh, man. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. What is it? It's not like yeah, eat lunch, brother. Yeah, man, I eat my lunch, that's right. <laughs> all right, then, go on. Go on, deal with your thing. <laughs> all right, look a bit, brother. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, there you go. So, you want to do the thing, people. You understand me? But um, let me say this, right? I'm not saying that poor... Listen, people, we got through hardship. But you see my hardship when we got through? You know, half as bad as what people go through. And it is rough. Me, me grew up, me live part of my life in the western part of Jamaica. Poor, poor place. And part, you know, one of the toughest garrison in Jamaica. Poor, poor place. And guess what? There are people way more worse staff than I was. That's why I ever give thanks enough. So the point I'm making is that, you see the people, and let's be, let's be, let's be really, really honest. Yeah, the, the real truth is the real poor people in Jamaica are not trying to go to the game. They don't have time to think about that. I'm telling you people, the real poor people, not even, they, some of them don't even can't go over them nearby yard, go watch TV again in this present Jamaica. Because they live in a one little shop, my brothers and sisters, that they can leave them sons and them daughters by themselves because house will burn down because everything in one. That's all I am saying. Now, what we can talk about now is that there should be a greater effort. Right? There should be a greater effort on the Jamaica Football Federation now to get, watch me, to get the game streamed and I will say where people can actually pay a little money because it would help people and they would earn. But that would still eliminate the poor people because if the poor people have to pay to watch it, some will not be able to do it. All right? What I can agree with, remember, I am not saying that the game should not be streamed because remember, I know, the game, the game is, watch this, the game is going to be shown. That's it. The game is going to be shown, but it's going to be shown delayed. So the people, like you can say, the poor people, quote unquote, poor people can watch it delayed. I, I agree that persons outside of Jamaica should be able to see the game because they will they can probably afford to pay to watch it. Five dollars or whatever it is. And so there should be a greater effort from the JFF. All right? To get that to happen. That's where they, they should have worked harder. And they probably still need to try it. And just probably say, listen, you carry it for free. I think like something like this, they could probably say to, all right, Sportsmax, put it on your YouTube platform. Whatever you generate from it, you just give us a percentage. Maybe something like that, and they just show it on the, on the Sportsmax YouTube platform. And Sportsmax, whatever blockage they can do, however they do it, and they earn. Maybe something. Maybe, maybe like a military goner can they can partner with him. You understand me? I I I am not that I'm not that guy. When we go match, me don't even want to interview nobody. Me want to watch the game. Come here, right? Come here, take notes. You understand me? That's why I coach me this year must always try to go much with money. Uh, somebody is saying that. Can somebody confirm this? Um, because AQ is saying that um um that ravel he'd be surprised if ravel is training with dc unite so ravel is not training with dc is that what they're saying welcome mpeg tv <laughs> Peep, 
All right, people. All right. Oh, people, define poor, no man. Define poor. People, poor people, no go much. People, poor people, no really do them thing there. Unless them a go there, go sell something for make back them money. A hustle, them depon. We ain't talk about poor. Let's, maybe we need to define. When we use the adjective, let's define it and put it in context. No, we are Ravel training DC. I would have to see that. His track record says it all. AQ, call me and tell me what you are talking about. What track record are you talking about? When, when Haiti play games, remember the, 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 the Haitian coach was here? He says the stadium is packed in Haiti. The stadium, the, every game they play in Haiti, he says the stadium is packed. I want to know how to define poor. Who said that? So who said that poor people don't want to see the game? Just because you're poor, it don't mean you don't love our... So who, how you get to this? Nobody that about love and understand football. Let me say it again. The people who are asking for the game to be streamed so they can watch it are not the poor people in Jamaica. A, a lot of the people, let me tell you again, a lot of the people who are talking about, yes, the game should be streamed, it's not because they're poor they want it to stream. It's just because they don't want to go to the game and they still want to watch it. That is the point I'm making. Let me say it again. The people who are advocating for the game to be shown are not the poor people in Jamaica. So people are coming on the platform to advocate for the poor people. Them, them not have no conversation with them to find out if they want it. They're asking it for themselves because as they have made up in their minds that for them money, no for pay for go watch no Jamaica football, a freedom for watch it on TV because them no good. Those are the people complaining. I'm going to put it to you. If we put it to the test, that is it. Find me the poor people. Them. Let them call into money's man. Because those people will get ticket. The member of parliament and stuff will go around and give them ticket. You tell me. The people who make the most noise are the ones who don't think. Them the man there. Forget for them money. Because them they deserve it. That's what I'm talking about. Simple as that. Oh, I didn't see my training. Somebody says he's not. Yeah. Oh, somebody say I'm, conf I'm, I'm, I'm confusing poor with dirt poor. <laughs> no, man, Jason Guna. Listen, you see the people over. Remember I said, you know, I say, you know, there are two separate. Let's not conflict the issues. Let me say this, right? Let me, let, me, let me say this. The JFF should make an effort to broadcast the game. Not for poor people. Let me say it again. The JFF should broadcast the game. Not for poor people's sake. So let's leave that. Even if they have to charge to broad, for it to be broadcast so people can pay, no problem. No problem. No problem. So let's leave that conversation. It's not about the game should be broadcast or not. Nobody arguing that. If you want to have that conversation, have it by yourself. And you, 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 you sit down and you talk to yourself like you're insane. Because nobody's not discussing that. The argument is the game should be broadcast because poor people want to watch the game. Poor people want to go to the game. Poor people can't afford to go to the game. So the game should be broadcast for poor people. That is the conversation that we are having. So define poor to me. Define poor to me. And I'm saying to you, my definition of poor tells me that those people don't have time to consider going to no game unless they're going there for a hustle. Or everything for them is absolutely free. They don't think about these things. 
Because like Paul Marriott has said, their next concern is what am I going to eat? What will my six kids eat? Because a single parent in a one bedroom, the boyfriend lived there with six kids sleeping on the same bed. That's poor for me. Maybe your definition is different. A outside them still a cook in a Jamaica. A, a outside the bathroom there. Or them put the plastic bag, the garbage bag, in a the big gallon bucket, and them use it at night and tie it up and go dash in the gully. Because they have no other option. That is poor people to me. When the kids them have one suit of khaki, them still have go to school without bag. That is poor. People live like that, if you don't know. That is poor. A man will drive him taxi every day, collect him money and all of them things there. And he have his house bill already and him kids them go to university. He probably shot at some money. He's not poor. The man who live in the inner city and him have AC in him out and him have free water, him have free light, him have 70, whatever, 70 inch television. Him wear the most clocks and thing. Him not poor. Not because him live in a one particular community. The man will have him farm. Where must sell yam and them thing then at the market. Him not poor. How you classify poor? Come on, a man. You think poor people in here every day in comment section, they on internet all day and make comment on show? Poor people don't have time to do that. Them set them kids out a road for beg. So don't, don't, don't mix up poor with inner city community. Are it, are it rural communities? Completely different thing. All right? <laughs> yeah. All right, Jerome, there you go. No, you can't watch your community. Oh. <laughs> you go to some house right now. You understand me? You go to some, you go to some house right now. You sub, listen, let, let me tell someone of this. When we come back here, me realize. Yes, KY. Let me tell you this. When we come to Jamaica, me realize. Is it some of the people them? Hey, let me tell you this. Is it some of the people them? We are not family. We una ascend, <laughs> we una ascend, money come give, and our work, if we never come to Jamaica and see how they live. We una say, I you me really ascend my money come give, but back to school, when you say you couldn't afford to send your daughter to school, and I send me 500 US here by book, when you come to Jamaica, and you see how them live. You say, hold well, on. Then I saw your TV did big. Oh, you buy this expensive bedroom set here. Well, on that, your fridge have ice maker. You in the States, you know, people. <laughs> and you live in a one apartment. <laughs> but let's leave that. But really and truly, though, we need to go out and support the team, man. If, you, if people buy a ticket, we, so if you can reach out to me, um, we'll get you some tickets. We'll get you a ticket. You understand me? Um, like Ryan has given three, in, 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 in about the 10, three, so right, we, we're going to have five for Montego Bay, five for, um, so we have our own. In total, just, just, just from me, because we got some money, we're going to do our own 20 tickets to the game in Montego Bay. 20. So, you understand me? And, and that we're not looking out. Oran Hernandez, <laughs> the, the one Trini in the building, said so that Trinidad coming to beat Jamaica. <laughs> this, is, this is not. Uh, must be for Bacchanal, <laughs> but, not, but not for the football game of uh, Oran. 
That must be back, back and all. But this game, Jamaica winning, man. Jamaica going to be winning that one. You understand me? <laughs> okay. Poor people can afford the basic needs. Dirt poor can't even afford. Um, the ticket is $1,000. 1000 Jamaican dollars, which is like... $10 can buy a ticket. $10 US can buy a ticket. $10 Canadian can buy a ticket. Yeah. You understand me? Yeah. Yeah, man. So, Dre, we answered this already. The JFF should find a way. Hey, I swear to God that uh, people may have like 19 minutes. I swear to God that some people just have to comment and them don't listen. All right? Dre, so Dre, remember, I am in total agreement that the game should be broadcast, not just to the diaspora. They, generally, the game should broadcast. People, right? Let so come to you, right? Generally, the game... Let me just respond to Jamie. I have a next comment I have to deal with. And then me, me think, me think when, it, when the discussion start get here, you realize that people just want to talk and they don't care what nobody else says. They are just going to talk because they just want to type. Them, them, them don't care what they don't listen. They are not going to say, they don't care what you're saying. They don't, they don't want to understand. They don't, they don't business about that. They, just, they came today, they made up their mind that when I go online today, I'm going to type these 10 things. All it, listen, I'm going to talk about Martin Luther. I don't care what, if they're discussing um, Marcus Gavin, I don't, uh, yeah, so there are people like that. All right, so, but let me say a couple. So Dre, the game should be broadcast. All right, the game should be broadcast. Generally, the game should be broadcast. All right, Dre, we don't have no problem with that. That is not my issue. And it shouldn't be like for diaspora, it should for everybody. And the JFF needs to do that. If you want to cost the JFF, if all of us, JFF, we don't need to broadcast the game. And that needs to be, it should be. You had enough time, it should. We can go on and quarrel with that. We're fine with that. Me, 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 me totally agree with that. All right? Listen to this comment. That is not right, management. You have not seen how the majority live who are receiving remittance. Don't put doubt in their contributors' mind. So, so yes, I'm telling you, so people don't listen. Let me say it again. If some of you who send remittance and I, TikTok, saw that with my own eyes because it was my experience, you're going to tell me something of you say that? And my experience, that. You are going to tell me, sir. So listen, man, you always say things without listening. That's my experience. When you do all of that, when you go and look how some of them live, they are living way better than you who give them remittance. What is not right about that? Tell me what is not right about that. You're going to tell me that my, my experience is not right? Stop your nonsense, man. And listen before you speak, man. My experience, brother. You don't listen, man. More than one people will attest to you that if when they see how some of the people in their own families who say they need help for their kids when they come and they look at what they have done the kind of lifestyle that their family members live in is shocking you're going to tell me that that is not right listen listen and learn can you act like you this you, you can't you need to show yourself so people can probably see and hear you because you act like you you're some super intelligent being nobody's narrow like you yet you, you talk about i have a narrow experience you have no experience that is why you can't show yourself and show your face i put mine out there and put my voice
Many, many people have that experience. Many. Many, many. But TikTok, you have just been checked out. No more of you for today. You know what it is, TikTok? You get two comments. So you have to make the most of them. Whoever I want to talk to you can talk to you now. We are done. <laughs> you understand me? Yeah, so. Yeah, man, big up Clayton. Yeah, big up Clayton. So people, but local people, go and <laughs> what people please ignore me. I just have the best way to deal with TikTok is to ignore me. And then later today, right? Um generally, um, but I want you to I want uh, there's a conversation that I'm going to be having later today. Happy International Women's Day, AM Henry. All right. <laughs> There you go, there you go. A lot of people, you, you think that, you tell us that. Yeah, you think a lot of people out here tell people about our family sick and they might this and they might that. You, can, you can't tell me nothing about narrow. <laughs> Understand me? Um, yeah. But um, there is a very important conversation I'm going to have later today. And je- if you know me, I try, I try to stay away, but this is so important. All right. It, um, and so we're going to have Mr. Mr. Richards. Um, Odile Richards on the program because um, I think recently some stuff were said that he has a complete set of other information all right that don't align with what was said and he needs the opportunity to to seek listen what i'm saying to seek resolution so that there can be some coming together and i'm going to try to see with your help the people in the comment section if we can have the kind of dialogue that will create a pathway going forward where um where everybody can just operate in unison. <laughs> oh, or, and what they say that, um, Jamaica have speed, Trinidad have more skills and football ideas. Well, or on Hernandez, <laughs> I like, I like this, right? Um, the, the last set of persons who were talking so confidently, Oran, um, at Sunday, at, on Sunday, at around seven, they were being terrified every time they heard the number seven. So please. So please, uh, uh, Oran, do not go down this path because we don't want at around nine and Saturday, nine is a torment to you. And you have nine mirrors <laughs> at night time. <laughs> <laughs> No man, no man, stars boy. Yes, me finish with that, man. Me finish with that. All right. <laughs> I'm done with that. Yes, yeah, so we want to, Jason. Yes, yeah, so we're trying, and I hope that some of you can really think about this just as a parent and parent and child and see if we can have a kind of dialogue to uh to, to resolve the issue. Right? Um, yeah. So I think that's an important conversation. And if, I mean, what you can do, if you, if you have any word of advice, like this is how it can be dealt with. On this video, when the video ends in the comment section, if you type that, 
I would see it in in you know um uh, yeah and then I can I can put that with what I have but we have to find a way this is a, a most unfortunate situation for all parties involved and I cannot see at this point the benefit to all the parties right nice. welcome to welcome to I am sure sports yes sir greeting greetings yeah you know live yeah man I'm live all right uh, you want to call back to share some of the item. you want to call back or you you want to share yeah man we will share man yeah man go ahead we will share the clarity I are you going to clear answer yeah man yeah man people are hearing if you're, if you're hearing um just put a thumbs up all right so um, I was to be hearing this thing with Mom Ryan yourself and um, Prince, along with the Gensek of the Jason. Okay, yeah, on a recent show, yes. So, on a positive note, <laughs> yeah, more uh, just acknowledge the item creativity, the yeah. smart process. Organizing the planning, everything we're going on this thing. I don't know if it's just me as involved in this something so great. I don't know if you may to work with, but uh, my name is Matt uh, 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 Let me just say this, Carla. I have, a, I have some update, right? So there was a yeah. because the thing has not stopped, but as you know, with these things, you can't all of it cannot be dealt with in the public space. So there was a massive meeting recently with yeah. with with a, a good committee of mm -hmm. past players and they have actually they met and now they are putting together structure to the framework and the, the systems of operation and the order of things um yeah, yeah going so so by 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 the next couple of weeks you will be, mm -hmm. yeah, you will be hearing um, other structural, strategic plans where what was discussed publicly. But it cannot be done, like I said that, it cannot be done in the, in the public space. You have to wait until you have those things. But that is happening. So the point is that there, yeah. the wheels are now turning. So it's not just talk. Some action has already taken place. So if I turn forward, are the wheels then still in the alignment? Uh, so because of the meeting, like I'm saying that you, the, the, there, there are some things that are even going to be happening, I think, by, by April. So, so I would say that the car is just, you know, when, it, when it, the, what they call them kind of thing, you know, you know, um, you know those car, the drag car racing, and the yes, car is yes, kind of yes. revving up like before, it, like it's revving up. No, but it hasn't uh -huh. gone off yet. Yeah. So the engine are warm up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. That's that's the ideal term. All right, all right, excellent. How oh, they are them? How oh, they are them come up with such a exponential, <laughs> such a, a gigantic idea? How oh, they are them come up with that? Uh, let me tell you. Listen, I would I always say this. Yeah, somebody said the engine of trot man in. Thank you, Stefan Wright. You know that, to be fair, and I said this from the beginning, initially, um, like these conversations, I could go from persons like um, Ketarok, the, 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 the IMAXIT person, JD, um, Coach Minzy, um, Cranky, Neo, um, Devon Porter, Ian Campbell, um, Ryan, um, Formula, uh, like, uh, unseen uh, all the vloggers and a lot oh, of the persons okay. in the comment sections have been saying things the, the issue is that nobody kind of took the time to to put the words mm -hmm. into form so it can you know it says write the vision down and make it plain so that they who read it can understand it and run with it so there was a vision but it was written down so people were saying it but you couldn't like see it in actuality because it wasn't before you. So what I did was just put what everyone 
have been saying in a diagram and put it out there and said, this is what, you, yeah. Oh, you come up with the idea now to galvanize all of the talking into words and then words into action and then action into reality. <laughs> no, I just, I just, I just said, the first thing, like I said, for me, um, yeah. everything has to move from your mind. It, it, can't, it can't stay in your mind. In other words, you have to have it written down. There is no vision that people can understand that they can't read and see. People have to be able to see it. The first thing we have to do is to find, how do we move from what is in our minds, from mm -hmm. what is in our mouth, to what is mm -hmm. written before us so our eyes can see it. It's like your mind, your mouth, and your eye have to work together before you can put your hand to it. Hey, it, it, when you listen to the eye, let me, let me say that we are first. And, and more, um, just put our and, and and sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm And Dre, anyway, that too, because you must say. <laughs> All right, Dre and Vav. You know, Dre, you know, you know. You know, the phone, no one knows the Dre. Everybody, everybody. Yeah. All right. So, 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 money. No one uh, make sure we put this out in, in, in clarity as clarity as possible. Nothing that I and I have said to the eye. Is in an, any Simon, Simon Preston, yeah. There you go. Simon Preston over there. Yeah. It's an attempt to try um bamboozy or you know, just speak things where I know mean. I I I am not that type of individual. And I think we, we, we start kinda lower. We, we left out the signature. So let me just add the signature now. Greetings to all great people of our sacred planet. This is none other than Coach Babaton. So, all right. Coach Babaton. Coach Babaton. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Um, the we've been coaching this game from 97. We're going to go to our jump off. Yes. And we're still going. I mean, all of the obstacles, we're still going at it. So, we, I am able to acknowledge good things. Just like why I'm able to acknowledge negative things. Yeah. But I chose to emphasize the positive so we can eliminate the negative as best as possible. So when I when I hear the, the show first strong with Ryan and the item, yeah, me I tell you me, me, <laughs> then I'm a me, 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 my farm. I mean did the offer pay a keen, keen attention. Because the, the, the move was so... When, when we hear the item come with, it's so long needed. You know, and the brain with the item out, so can say, yo, all right. So if I'm talking, talking, I'm to document all of these things that have been coming out. And present it, and the way it was, the way it was presented, it's so easy, it does, you know, the brain does comprehend it smoothly. Um, you know, so, my, my joyful, my joyful, me have to try to search your number. If yeah. thanks to Ryan, he tell me, say, can me ask him how long, yeah, yeah, but him come and make me know, say, me look on the screen, no see it around. Yes, yes. And the truth oh, is, you know, yeah. the, the, the truth is, listen, life is so, I don't know if you have ever been in a place where you, you set out in your heart, like, this is what I, this is what I envision. And then the yeah. moment you start, activate it you know, something else just springs up beside it that is complementary, and it's just making all things just come together. So let me give you an example. Once this started, and I started, um, you know, I, 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 just, I just have this way that I, I don't know, it just so happened that I can connect, I don't know, just, it just, I would say, you know, um, I, no effort of mine, just, just how the sequence of life is. I've been able to connect with most of the past players in Jamaica football. I'd have some level of connection or relationship with them. Where I can I talk to them, if I want, I can call and talk to them. All right? So the moment... Yeah, well, yeah. Well, 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 yeah. You say no effort of yours? Meaning, meaning like, when I say no effort, it's just 
it, it, it just happened. It's not like I was going around saying, all right, man, I'm going to work so hard. Let me try and see if I can build a relationship with this person. Let me see if I can. It just, that's what I mean. Like, just just the other life. And yeah, well, this, I, I yeah. think I, I know how I would define it is, is that you set out on a journey. Yeah. And on the journey, you are able to listen to the voice within you. I would refer to that as the Almighty. Yeah. So may refer to it as God or, you know. But um, one of the one of the things where I find in our earth yeah, is that's very helpful, the ability to listen. Listen to your inner voice, to the Almighty within you. And then when you listen, you're able to tap into the message that the Almighty brings. Yeah. So you will never sit down and get lazy and just, just critique, critique. But you actually do something. You link with who you link with and yeah. And it's just easy because you're able to just tap into and follow the message. You know? Absolutely. The so here's what so, happened now. So they see the moment, yeah. let me give you this now. So the moment I started doing that, you know, you know what happened? You would not believe mm -hmm. it. So, so we're trying to do this thing where we want to reach out to the diaspora. Then there's a, just a next group of persons just rushing like a flood. So listen, while you are doing that, which is very important, we, our service will be to ensure that it is not to the detriment of what is happening locally. So yeah. we, um, parallel to what is happening there, will be uh, working to establish things in Jamaica that more of our youngsters will be exposed to the highest levels of football from as early as possible. And I'm cool. saying that, you know, this is it. This is this is what we want, where um, both sides of the scales are balanced. Those within yeah. the geographical borders of Jamaica and those outside feel like a concerted effort is being made to bring them to higher levels and standard. And like I said, the, only the almighty creator in this season. I always tell people life is about two kind of time, you know. Yeah. Um, Kronos time, the Greek word Kronos is where you get chronological time all other from. And Kairos time. Kairos is an next word that means time. And Kairos means set appointed time. We are time and season for everything. It is different from chronological time I order because it's not controlled by clocks and days and months and weeks and years. It just, it just happened at set appointed time. And all of this just is happening at what I call the Kairos moment, the set appointed time. It's just know that it needs to happen where there can be a generation generational revolution in terms of the sports of football that 50 years from now um yeah. our, our great great grandkids and kids will be reaping the benefit from this initiative that is being done in this particular time and that to me is the greatest joy in all of this and um i want to stay on course with it sometimes it's very hard because the distractions but we want to make sure we stay on course you know and and get it um, yeah excellent the, 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 what the eye what the eye study outside are what you're doing now? What 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 is your like feel like you know about when they have a number of things they must focus on? Where is where is it where the eye study like? Oh, in 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 in, in college, I saw my, my um so, so so I did my 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 PhD. I don't like to talk about this, but I, I did that. Hey, you know what I, mean? <laughs> I don't PhD like. After. <laughs> yeah, I don't like to. I, I don't like to do that. But I mean, all right. I'm going to tell you something now. Yeah. I'm going to tell you. Something. I don't. I don't. Mm. I have prior to now. I mean, a few cases. I every time I meet up on someone who have a PhD, mm. that the brain, the brain don't function and they're void of realness. But in this case, it's not the same with the eye. Yeah. I bring a work and you must do your best not to lose the, the drive and the, the energy that you have on your journey. Yeah. With a PhD is one of the is, is one of the better brains I've known throughout the lifetime when we are when we link up and talk with people who have them sort of accolades. So the PhD where you do you do away which feel you 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 earn it in it. Uh, I mean, so a lot of it is in theology and leadership. Oh, all right. So, 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 so like, um, all right. All right. So when I was doing like 
first when I was doing my masters, um, we, we we did a tailor made to organizational leadership because I was leading the organization of what they call ministerial leadership, and so the tailor made the courses. All right, um, mm -hmm. Jamaica ability to feed itself. All right, um, yeah. So <laughs> everybody said, "Why you're with I'm going to do an interview, right? I, I'm going to interview myself and share it, right? So. So that's what we did. So what I did, they, they tailor made the courses. So like I, yeah. I, I, I did a um, have an expansive library because I had to read because a lot of it was also online. So what it forced me to do is to is to is to is to read books and do reports and write from them. If in in any of those things you'd understand. So yeah. um, I go from like the Nelson Searcy about um, systems, how to set up an organization, creating. Uh, you you set up an organization one you create like um, um, the manual for it and manual for every position like creating an organizational structure and every individual what are their functions what are the systems that the organization works in from beginning to end and find people to fit into the different systems you create the eight systems that give you the same output every time regardless of the yeah. people that you put in specific positions because listen if systems work people will excel People can excel, and if the systems are poor, then it's going to break down. All right. So, in other words, yeah. the methodology that I employ is one that is even focused on the the the, the people aspect of doing things, even even the approach though. So, yeah. in other words, then um, we may find that in a Jamaica is a place where it, it's lack proper customer service. So the I is saying no. The way the methodology that I use is even one where inspire people to give up their best in every situation. Yes. Yeah, so in other words, why you, you know you never ask who made the burger at Burger King, or I know you remember don't eat it because listen, no matter who makes it, it comes out the same way. Yeah. Because it's not the person; it's the system that makes it work, right? So if you right. right, so um, if you. Again, again, if you if you if if you if you create the proper systems, and this is what we need in the football, if the systems are right, we'll be able yeah. to produce better end product. Yes, the the, man, the, the, pro the problem is we spend more time on individuals in a in a in a in a system that is broken. And when you leave individuals in a broken system, you break individuals. And so the same system that is um supposed to build people break people so for example there's a footballer called Tariq Magee that we're talking about as an example if we had proper yeah. systems of development from the beginning to the end the output would have been better somewhere along the line the focus was more on Magee than the system so the system broken because the system never it, it don't function effectively that yeah. is why that is why every generation Brazil or Argentina can produce quality because they have the same system i mean but early 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 in school for example and people know this you, you do psychology concepts and connections so you understand human behavior you understand that you're sanguine melancholic chloric and phlegmatic and all of those things and what are you know we, we, we learn that you know people have personalities so 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 there are strengths and weaknesses and so when you deal with even even marital and relational stuff we we'll say to you like listen people try if you are um so i have a son <laughs> all mm -hmm. right um if you have a son right yeah. and he is very aggressive the, the system mm -hmm. people teach us that we need to stop him but that is his strength you don't want to kill his strength Mm -hmm. Right. You, you understand me. You don't want to kill his strength. So what do you do? You have to manage his aggression and channel his aggression. But we are so, taught so, so that, yeah. that that comes to something I use in a training session. I call it method of, of approach. A yeah. Method of approach. Yeah. So so we we'll, we we'll, we'll come up and find to the society we have certain ways where it kind of culture um its inhabitants. I'm going to say the people. Um, so, 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 yeah, so, so, where, where I see our expound fund now is finding new ways of getting certain things done. So, you find that one is aggressive, 
that's aggressiveness can be tempered. Yeah. You know, and 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 result in in, in productiveness. Yeah. When, yeah. when I listen to the eye. The, the eye brain never, is never exposed to something, a book them called The Philosophies and Opinions of Marcus Mosiah Garvey. Yeah, man, we read those, man. We have those in our library, man. We read a lot of books, man. We have the Maccabee okay. Bible. We read it as well. We know about the Maccabee brothers. We, we understand the different eras. We, we understand why that was not part of the, you know, the, 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 where the council and Nicaea met to determine what would be canonized in the scriptures. We understand them things. We don't really need to. Oh, <laughs> we don't really know. Oh, we don't really need to go man. into them. Yeah. No, but we don't need fee. we don't really need <laughs> we don't need to really no. we are no. about... Let me tell you something. Yeah. But before you even tell me that, maybe do I make a know. Yeah. From the start, listen to the eye. Yeah. The eye remind me of one individual, particularly, one particular male individual, and that is Marcus Yavi. Oh, no, man, that, that, that's... that's you nah, try to bamboozle the eye now, you know, I nah, try to yeah. tell you not, uh, not mm. go so high with. When me I share with the eye come as a result of where me hear you go and when me see your brain, I do. Yeah. Keep it up, Bridget. Yeah, but you, you, you're, 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 I mean, you, you sound like you have high intellect. You understand me? But the, the truth is, no, you know, well, we don't use them the word if it defines me. You know, yeah, so we have to, we have to, we have to really, um, we, we have to really, uh, uh, one of the things I understand is, I never, I recently, I met, <laughs> uh, recently, I was somewhere with the, the, the coach when he just came, right? And uh, yeah. I was I was in a particular supermarket. I just share an example. I was in a supermarket, and uh, very, very the people who know you. Um, when I'm when I'm when I'm in Jamaica, uh, um, if you don't know me, you don't you don't know because I I I, I carry myself very ordinary. So I, I, I will sit down and and and, and reason with the the men on the street and play a draft with them and talk to them and we have we have very lengthy conversations. So I'm in the supermarket because I engage just for for learning because I believe that there is there is a lesson. I, I don't think experience teaches wisdom. I, I don't believe that saying I believe that evaluated experiences teaches wisdom. So I like to talk What's to people that? and then I hear their experience because you know that a lot of people have experienced a lot of things but they have not gained any wisdom what they have experienced because if you don't evaluate the experience you cannot learn from them you have to evaluate them what are the lessons what are the pitfalls what are the the potholes and what i need to do how can i do this better next time you have to evaluate all right so hold on hold on hold on, yeah. hold on man hold on. the audience are listening i trust you don't forget just repeat what you said a while ago about you have to evaluate yeah, man, experience, yeah, don't teach. Right. experience does not teach wisdom. It is evaluated yeah. experiences that teaches yeah. wisdom. If you don't All evaluate right. the experience, you're not learning from them because you have to so, understand, how can I do this better? How, why did I fail? Right? Why did it not work? And how I'm going to ensure that it works the next time? What will I do differently? You understand me? What were the mistakes mm -hmm. that you have to evaluate? Because if you don't evaluate, then you're gonna have problems. All right. So, but, so I'm in the supermarket and I'm I'm talking to somebody very ordinary, and the coach is there doing his stuff, right? And uh, a lady walks up to me and she started. She said, "You work in the supermarket?" And I said, "Not really." And you know, and she started. We we can. Get, she was very aggressive in yeah. approaching me, and uh, you know, I, I yeah. remain calm because it, it's a female, nonetheless. Um, who I was dressed, who I was dressed, her daughter said, um, Mom, why would you think? Look at how he's attired. The people in the supermarket wouldn't have on their crocs and those things and, and stuff. Anyways, um, <laughs> anyway, so we went on and we, we, we had a conversation, and that conversation turned into she's, a, she's actually a business owner. All right. Yeah. And in that, she was making some mistakes in her business why uh -huh. she wasn't getting more out of it all right okay. and so in the conversation the very way she approached me i showed her how that was a very way way she approached the business, business. and therefore mm -hmm. it, it failed 
it failed in our approach to me and the business was not doing as well as it needed to. Yeah. So I said, if now that you know me, how would you approach me if you saw me in the supermarket again? And I use it to show her that that is how she need to do her business. It wasn't that it wasn't doing well, but yeah. just by the way you speak and approach someone can define how your very business operate. Um, and and, and yeah, she had to look back. And I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I, I will tell you that this is Arona. Um, th that was in January or in March. Yeah. We still have a relationship and she's doing a whole lot better now because she has changed how she speak to her staff. She has changed how she approach her customers, how when she goes into places, she just got mm -hmm. into a new um, place to distribute her product because she yeah. felt, in, in other words, she felt like because of what she did, people were treating her bad. Mm -hmm. And so when she approached, she already came out defensive. Like, you don't like me. You don't want my product. And, and, and in other words, I'm coming here to show you why you're supposed to want it. I'm, I'm, I'm pushing against it. And I said, no, because that's what you did in the supermarket. Yeah. And if you change up, and, and she did that. So when she goes to, 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 to <laughs> when, because she was in the supermarket trying to get her product in there, you know, I'm telling you, you know, and I'm saying that she couldn't. She went back to that same supermarket, changed her approach, and they have started distributing her product because right, her on, business was on, reflected in her approach. You see, you see, again, no, this is now an excellent epitome of what good people can do for each other. Yeah. No, I say to the system that rather than building prisons, and a mark on all them places. So people, rather than marginalizing males and females, because the society now have males up against females, females up against males, you create opportunities now where one can be of value to each other. Yeah. As long as that woman and her picnic live, irrespective of how them they think of you upon seeing the eye, Life has now forced them to think and approach things different. And that life is manifested through the eye, which didn't cuss her off and tell her about, you know, yeah, the most degrading thing. But the eye was able to capitalize on a moment to teach, a moment to share, a moment now, which is now emanating differently now because as long as that woman lives, um, she will love you forever. Yeah. And and, and that is how may I, may I look for show my people there. Um, may I look on the clock here, Sam, and say that I come up to the training time. Yeah, man. So uh, you have to start preparing. Yeah, man, so I appreciate the call, man. And a lot of persons, which which team you coach? Because, you know, you know, we do a lot of things, you know, maybe one of them days here, maybe you're not ready to disclose it, maybe one of them days here, so we're doing our work, so we can't come and, you know. Um, well, we don't know if they have an ex. You can't take an ex job. We can't take an ex coaching No, job. man. No, um, man. What I mean is that, you know, because clinic. we have it's we have organizations that sometimes support some of the, 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 the teams All right, so, that need so Baba Tunde, Baba Tunde is now a pro coach at Phoenix All-Star Football Academy. Okay. So, Baba Tunde deals primarily with the under-20 and under-14. Ah. Yeah, Phoenix is, is, is very big. Yes. So we have the Super Elite and then we have the Super A and we have the Under 40. Yeah, nice. So that is the focus right now. Um, and, you know, like I said, me, 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 me only ask what I ask because I'm going to be able to listen on the journey and tap into the skills yeah. when I see within myself from a younger age. Um, a female once asked me, after, after, I mean, me do all of the thing and me set up, me come out of training, because she said she had observed me how long and she noticed that uh, when me step across the, the white line, yeah, it's a different me. Yeah. I mean, I said, what do you mean? She said, yeah, what when you? Like, you come in, me see you do everything, uh, you know, lift your players, then you make sure them go home, all right, everyone see if you had the last one to leave. Yeah. And sometimes the first one to arrive. Well, so when you do all of this now, who take care of the course? 
Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> but sorry, but you know, listen, this is awesome, awesome, man. I mean, um, so we hope you call in again. It was, it was, yeah, we're going to go, we have to go, we have to set up something now where we do an out of view with the eye, yeah, man. <laughs> from my um, YouTube channel, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, we have a YouTube channel out there, yeah, yeah, man. The eye brilliant, yeah, in name Tunde's Target Communication, Tunde's Target, Stargate, yeah, Communication, all right. Like Communication with okay. All right, all right, yeah. all right. We'll check it out anytime, man. Anytime, yeah, man. you know, because it's a lot. It's not for the little. Make sure you pull up on us so we don't know when again. Yeah, man. But we know it is. We make the time and the effort for call the eye because I want to hear the group I want them link up and do. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to put some time on the schedule to try linking. Um, what me see, I'm going to see, I know young people is turned off by politics. <laughs> I am going to leave this with the eye. <laughs> it's part of the spirit, the eye pan. The people is in need of this type of um, guidance and leadership. For example, now Babaton, the outside of my coaching duties, I'm a farming duties, and the building and healing duties. Yeah. I am I have taken on a task, which is to provide better mentor for people. Yeah. Through the arena of what they would have called politics. I'm not a politician. Yeah. But in order to get any sort of positive change for people, we have to go through the realms or the premise of politics. One of these days and I'm so, going to do a, but I'll say though, I have a platform, a yeah. platform that I operate from that really give me an awesome privilege to to and that's one of the reasons why I'm here. Um so often in Jamaica and quite for a while now, because it's just a strong conviction. And so I have a platform that allows me to do that, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, well, yeah. you know, if you think about that, because you're invited to join the United Independent Congress, which is Jamaica's third registered political movement, <laughs> a.k.a. the UIC. Oh, the UIC. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know if you've heard about it. Yeah. And so on, but... The direction, you know, when we see I go out, when we see it, when we go out from the ball at them community, how we see it pop down. Good people like the eye is needed uh, to help us with people so right I don't across know, the I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't. Hey, YouTube by itself. YouTube by itself is such a, is such a, is such a, is so, so difficult. I don't know. But appreciate invite. You understand? But we'll talk and thanks for the call, man. Really appreciate it. And you continue to, to grow, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We're there. And um, when you're ready, you can let me know you visit a training session. You may have some ideas to share with me, of course. Yeah, man. Blessings. Big right. up and keep safe and take care of the eye health. And yeah, pick man. up all of the good, dark females on International Women's Day. No, I don't, I don't really appreciate that, you know. You, you, I, I, think big, wrong, no. I, think, I think it is better if it's a big up all the females. No, when we have to first identify with Maria, a purposeful that we are there. Yeah, but, but then you can, big up the, you can big up the others, though. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I leave that part of the eye. All right, all right. What's the name yes, of the channel? What's the name of the channel again? Tunde's Target Communication. Tunde's Target Communication. Yes. All right, then. Blessings, man. Yeah. Three Z. All right, All right. Then. blessings, man. All right. Respect and thanks, man. Yeah, man. Every time. Yeah. All right. All right, people. Lord of mercy. Money's man get exposed. So listen, I am still, I am still money's man. So don't play with me. Cause we get loud. <laughs> yeah, you better believe that. So don't wanna, don't wanna feel like that. Money's man, I'll get quiet and calm. No, you understand me. Me, I'll get loud. Oh. Coach means to talk to them, you know, because Coach means to know the thing going on. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, people have gone the time, but that was a call worth um, giving some time to, all right? Um, yeah, but no, I'm going to say, <laughs> yeah, you understand me, but don't, don't bother say, hey, you've got, no, we get low, yeah, no, but the politics thing is that bad it's money, you know, um, yeah. You know, yeah. But what but what I'll say is that listen and um
<laughs> hey, TikTok, I swear that 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 if I do if some of those people see you know, <laughs> if some of those people see it's it's kind of funny sometimes, right? Because sometimes if you view the comments, you know, and you see the person behind the comment, you you I used to have this on the radio, you know. It's it's just so funny. You understand me? Um, but no, no, in intent. You understand? We understand the the, div, the the diverse views and stuff. But but let me say this, right? Um, they they always tell people, and and in everything, right? It is it is always what is the in 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 this book called Henry Claude. I think I spoke to you about it. Uh, uh, Some time ago, I talked to you. Um. The Henry Claude does a book called Boundaries, right? And I remember early when I was doing these um these these vlogs. I was doing these vlogs early in my time, right? Um some of you don't know where the AC thing come from, right? So let me let me give you so people like Brindrian and Duclan. Duclan is a very a lot of these people are very intelligent, you know, like of their masters and doctorates. So we know that. But I was saying that sometimes you don't have to do something wrong, right? For your reputation to be affected. But your character is who you are on the inside. Right, but your reputation can be destroyed though your character is intact. But you have to protect your character, but oftentimes you don't get the same privilege with your reputation unless you set boundaries. Right? So anybody want to set boundaries in their life, they should read that book. It's called Boundaries by Henry Claude. And um, part of the principle that, that you learn is that not everything that is right to do is wise to do. Because you have to have boundaries, and so I remember when I shared the example of of um of the and I said that listen, if you saw me as a minister of the gospel, a pastor coming out of a house with my shirt um over my shoulder, right, um with my um kit saying I just finished fixing a lady AC at three in the morning, it's going to be hard to convince you that I wasn't doing something else. It's not that I did something wrong. But it wasn't wise because it leaves room for speculation, which could affect my reputation. So a lot of things that I don't do is not because they are wrong to do. It is because you are not wise to do. Because you have to protect your reputation. And that's part of the discussion we want to have later. We have, we have Dr. Katarak on the scene. This <laughs> on the scene. You see, you see what I tell about El <laughs> Get up, we just get invited. So John, John, I can't take this part, you know. <laughs> uh, we're, on, we're, on, we're on the way out, out of town, but um, you know, I was giving trouble in the in the chat earlier. Oh, um, really? I'm, I'm about the Trinidad friend. Oh, uh, oh he, I sent you the link because he said you need to come on and answer him, but it looked like you were. You are else we are doing the other things. I have to, I have to, I have to get ready, but there'll, there'll be time. There'll be time. I think, I think Friday we can do another preview and it can come on. But what, what question did he have? I, I just want to know whether we are kicking out teeth or pulling out teeth on Saturday. On what he Saturday. was saying, I, I don't remember. But I know you were saying something about Trinidad losing the game or something, and he was saying that he need to hear I, from I, you. I, 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 the, the record suggests that the um. They, they they are competitive with Jamaica. That is very true at all levels because it's a it's a rivalry. It's a it's a, it's a derby game. So they, they 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 come out wanting to to get a result against Jamaica. But I think they I am very loudly optimistic, not even quietly optimistic about the squad put together. Yeah. And barring last minute injuries, um, if if that's the full squad that turns out. Based on the squad um, selected by Trinidad, I think we will we, we match up well, and we will um, we will get the, the, the desired result. Um, the desired result. Yeah, yeah. All right. I mean, I know the team trains today, and then they head out to Montego Bay. So. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't even know they were training today, because otherwise I'd have gone to the training session if, if I could. But. Um, uh -oh. 
I thought they were doing two days of training in Montego Bay. Yeah, that was the plan, but because of the flight schedule and all of that, they wanted to do one thing. So they're training in Kingston today to go down. So did, didn't some players arrive in Montego Bay? Those, those arriving from London? As it wasn't there, there, there was an issue with the flight. I think it was delayed, so they're coming in later. Because we were also trying to see if we could do... I think I heard somebody suggested, it may have been on Ryan's show, that to get the kids um to go out to kind of wave the players. But I think we need to do that when we have the full squad coming in. Like when we have the official squad, um, because that camp is going to be in Jamaica, and it would be good to have all of them on the same flight. Um... We could do something like that, like like have kids go out and say, welcome to Jamaica, a lot of noise and things as they're coming out at the airport, probably to go into the team bus. Um, yeah, that's a very and, good idea. Those things should be coordinated. It should be a standard yeah. operating procedure, um, you know, especially like you, you have the, 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 the school girls playing football. You could bring two teams out there, Yeah. you know, even, 20, even 22 players at, at, at the airport. It, 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 you get a little look, you know. Um, yeah. So but that's a good idea. Really, I support when that. I spoke about it yesterday. They said that the players were coming in at different times. Yes, we 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 we, we know that. Norm, normally, it's when you're going off, when, when they're departing. But but sometimes they come in. I mean, look as as we as, the, as we get more into it, we can we we will get better coordinated. That, that's my view. Yeah. Um. But I know that that um, certainly the players that I have anything to do with, they have arrived safely. That's the Tyler Roberts and um, Delano Splat, and yeah, we really yeah, look yeah. forward. We, we look forward to to seeing them uh, perform. But I heard something earlier that I uh, wanted to ask you about Manning's, which is that um, the Dante Casanova that he. Is not likely to play. He's just really here to train. Is that there? I didn't hear Can that. Can you confirm that? I no, the Dante that. Casanova. The Dante Casanova. I heard earlier in the program he had said that Dante Casanova was unlikely to feature in the games, but he was Maybe. really just here. Yeah, I, just, I think. I I no, man, I didn't say that, man. Or is in, or is in the chat. No, so man, I didn't. He, I think, I think, he's I think, fit and expected to play. Yeah, because all right, so I, I, there, there, there are two things. It is a, the coach. The coach said that. I think it, 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 it is because of the completion of the part of it is the completion of the paperwork, and he has a slight injury. I think the coach said that, but not me. So there is a slight injury that he's nursing, but the. The, the, all right, so the person from Tottenham is Icelandic. So he wants him exactly. All right, so I think what is happening is, depending on what happened, you could see him feature, depending on how he reacts to things. Because they want him to get time. So when he comes back, he can write. But if we don't need to, he will not. But they want to okay, see so him because if he's if he's good enough, then he could also make the the nation league. The nations league because that part of, part of this, which is what I want. The reason why some of these guys were invited is so that they could make the nations league squad if they are good enough. Right to to get their their, their first competitive cap. Yeah, yeah, because, because that, would, that would be very yeah, important. So yeah. He couldn't call Tyler Roberts based on the U twenty and stuff. So how how do I how do I call Tyler Roberts or um, Dexter to the Nations League camp? Let me bring them in. Let's see if they can come in for the game. If they can come in, I will look at them. And if they are good enough, they I will ask the club to send them. Because remember, the the the, the game is on the fourteenth. The, right. the EPL schedule ends on the eighteenth because the international break starts on the nineteenth, right? Right, so so the idea would be if, the idea would be for them to not go back, not go back and re remain here. Okay, yeah. okay. But I, so, what what I want so to that commend the coach is saying, that is sorry, that is why the coach is saying that he may be training, he may not have to feature in this game, but he could be a part of the Nations League squad, depending on how he looks in training. Okay. 
And, 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 and two, two or three things about that management I find really pleasing that the coach had the foresight and wear it all to know that you can bring a player in, have him train with the squad, at the same time dealing with his paperwork while he's here in Jamaica, rather than the longer process of going through the, um, the consulate in London. So I, I want to commend the coach on that approach. And I think that for, for more critical players... That might have to be the way that we go. You understand? A man coming at the start of the window and maybe he misses yeah. the first game, but he yeah. goes down a peak and deal with his matter down a RGD and get Granny Bird certificate. And he's ready for the second game in, 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 in the thing. So I, I commend the coach for that. The other thing is I really commend him for, for, for trying to have the foresight to utilize his network. Yeah. And it's it's pleasing because if you know, if you recall that uh, two years ago when we were doing the other 20 at point, you know, that Tottenham Hotspur is a hotbed of Jamaican eligible players along with Arsenal and Chelsea um, because of the neighborhoods where they are, um, are predominantly Caribbean, the, the, the Caribbean diaspora live in those areas. And so therefore, it, 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 it's very heartening that the coach is networking and and really, it warms my heart. And I, I, I wish him every success. Um, I, I know, and I'm not going to speak here, that he's speaking to another, it's not Icelandic coach, but but what you call that region where they are from, who is in the Scandin Premier League. Scandinavian. Scandinavian coach. And he's speaking to him about a particular player that we really need. Yes. Yeah, so, and I so hope like, that so that... You tell us some of the, the persons that I know he knows personally. Um, the... The Denmark coach in the Premier League. Thomas um, Frank. Thomas Frank. I wasn't going to call the name. I wasn't going yeah, to call yeah, the yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, so he has a connection Thomas there. He also, he, he's also very close to Unai Emery. Because remember, he spoke, he, he mentioned earlier that he, he spoke to Leon Scotch, which is Unai Emery. Um, and um, David, David okay, Nyes. Yeah. And David Nyes as well. Because David Nyes was in Iceland. Yeah, but now now I'm over right. <laughs> but it, 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 and these are some important <laughs> coaches because if you look at if you look at where we we have critical players, um, Una Emery would have um Jacob Ramsey, and Aaron Ramsey, um and 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 Cameron Archer, who I think would be three of the younger, more talented players that we are battling for, um at his at his mercy. Thomas Frank would have Rico Henry and Ivan Tony. And, and I, I think the coach is taking the right approach in terms of seeking to use his relationships to the advantage of Jamaica. Brain drain, right. brain drain, and, 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 um, and um, M MPEC TV having a conversation that your, your, your facial, your unkept facial here is causing them problems. And I mean, he says that his CPU is overheated because of your, <laughs> your unkept. I think that's what he's saying. <laughs> well, I, 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 I have no, I have no doubt that that Alexia, I have no doubt that Alexia would be overheating seeing an alpha Jamaican male. So, so turn off Alexia and Siri, and and, and such. But um, as as we as we get it there, as I'm traveling, so I, 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 I won't be long. But I, I, re I really am pleased with that. I I'm looking forward particularly oh, to the that, to the brain drain CPU. Go ahead. The brain drain CPU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, yeah. They, as we as we get closer to to be able to see what sort of um set up and line up the coach did. But I, I like the I, I went to the training yesterday. Um and I, I liked what I saw, even though I know that it was just the first training session of the squad pulled together. Um there was a particular player that the coach utilized heavily on and, and that and that warmed the heart. Um he, he, um Dujan Richards was this striker who was doing the shooting drills with the goalkeepers. He looked very sharp, I have to say, in my opinion. Um, I, I don't remember seeing a wayward shot from him um, from the various angles. Because, you know, when they're when it, trading up the goalkeepers, you, you, you have different angles and stuff. Um, he looked yeah. very sharp, especially his left foot. 
How did the shortest um, goalkeeper? So, 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 so that was pleasing. Mm -hmm. And I noted that there was an additional player who was not named in the squad who was yeah. there. Um, the goalkeeper, Akeem Bernard. Yes. Wait, did, did you catch everything I was saying, my name? No, you said Akeem Bernard. That's the last thing we heard. Yes, yeah, I asked if you could comment on that because I saw Akeem Bernard there, a.k.a. Pusai. All right, so how these things work, from my understanding, is that there is, there is, a, a, well, there is a goalkeeper coach. So he has been watching a lot of clips, getting a lot of info. So as he sees the clips, he has, every time he's in Jamaica, he will have goalkeeping camps with goalkeepers and with goalkeeper coaches because he wants to leave a lot of his knowledge um, to the goalkeepers and to the goalkeeper coaches. All right? So the, the, the plan is basically this. The goalkeeper coach is here. Bring in some goalkeepers. You could see the next time they meet, he could bring in a next goalkeeper. Because so so he may have seen some clips and say, listen, let me take a closer look at this goalkeeper. And and I don't think anything is wrong with that. Some persons are saying there are other goalkeepers that could have been called, should have been called. But he also had a camp previously with other goalkeepers. And, and I think going ahead, he will have camps with other goalkeepers. And it's just sometimes for them to get the exposure experience working with an international goalkeeping coach. You understand me? That, that's what... Um... My, my, my name, I, don't, I don't think anything is wrong with that. And I, I, I would want to urge the fans, you see, um, take the opportunity to, to allow the, the coaching staff the latitude um, to put the thing in place. Uh, we might not agree with every call-up. I certainly never agree with every call-up, but at, at, at this early stage, we have to allow them some latitude because we are talking about non-competitive games. And they have been, in all fairness to them, we have seen them uh, at, at, at Premier League JPL games. And therefore, it's, it's who them see and what them see. It, they they yeah. also have analysts who, who would have been combing through um, YouTube match videos uh, um, of the under-20 Premier League in England, um, you know, some other places. And, and so, therefore, they would have seen those players, but not in real life and on the flesh. And I think the coach alluded to that yesterday, that he, he would not have seen Omari Hutchins play on the flesh, but he has watched the, the, the PL2 games, uh, you know, so... so yeah. yeah. Make us work, yeah, work, just, with, just work with the team. I, and, I mean, low. one of our most senior, one of our most senior captains, right? I was, um, I, I was one of our most senior. They call him Skipper. For those of you who know Jamaican captain, they call him Skipper. And he said something so profound. Very simply, he said, "I am going to trust the process," and that's what I would, you know. Yeah, that I would say. But um, Cataract, you know that we have a, have a show later that I'm going to try to fix some issues. So I have, because it's two hours and 45 minutes. So I run a minute to go. So Brain Drain is, is saying that you are a selector by night and a, a transporter by, by, by day. Uh, <laughs> So, um, uh, so like <laughs> incognito. <laughs> so, um, uh, uh, yeah. So, so yeah. So yeah, yeah. He has to leave the bridge, and you have, you have, you have, um, you have almost exposed the man. Yeah, that's me. But well, bless up, bless up, cataract in the building. <laughs> All right, all right. So there you go, people. Um, uh, uh, that that's a transporter right there. So, listen. So, um, listen. I want to thank you because the show has come to an end. It's two hours forty four minutes. Thanks to everyone. Um, all right. So we need we need we need some text messages to the number online for the persons who are going to the match. Um, the one in Montego Bay. And you need a ticket. We got some donations. We are going to buy some tickets um, with the donations so you can get some tickets. And we make arrangements where you can have the 
tickets all right so let us know who you are all right if not for that game we'll take them to the game in kingston so you can have them there as well i know there was one person saying that i think a sure improvement was saying that sure improvement if 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 we can know exactly maybe we can go into the community where where you're at but we can probably find somebody who can bring you to the closest possible point um so we have we have connections we can work that for you you understand me um where we can get you to the closest possible point um yeah all right listen i want to thank every single one of you i am management this has been i am sure sports lots of love and respect you understand me um yeah um appreciate everyone thanks for all the comments all the feedback and when i say all the comments i mean every single one i don't mind as long as things are not disrespectful i think we can have conversations right and even when i get loud and boisterous um it's not to disrespect anyone you understand me it's just like you know it's, it's part of what we do we have to get very expressive and emotional so that we can be very clear all right always say seek to understand before being understood and not everything that is right to do is wise to do all right um so have a blessed and wonderful day um later today i have a like a very important discussion and please i i think i'm going to need your help i want to give some some steps right i saw um tiktok said some things earlier um to leave it alone kind of a stuff but some things is very like you know some things can be left alone they have to be dealt with sometimes you have to walk away and sometimes you need to confront and i think this is something that needs to be confronted in a healthy way so i am management this has been i am sure sports to all the moderators um thank you so much um all the new subscribers we appreciate you believe um with this one thing ladies um happy happy international women's day all right uh one day we can get an artist to come on later and sing a a cappella song for the ladies maybe we can do that bless up one and all i am management this has been i am sure sports and as usual we say we are over and we are o u t out of here <laughs>